got my hair done and I got my hair done. <laughs> this game, this game is gonna make me go insane. Every song is a banger, even though like mathematically on paper it should not. But like it just works. It works too well. <laughs> So, okay, you know, I don't think we're gonna hear this song in the game tonight, like, I've noticed that they've had, like, themes for all the little gangs. Next, this time we're doing .exe, the, like, the Cyberhead gang who are taking over a local mall. Last time was Eclipse, the fortune-telling baddies who, 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 who ha get their nails done and they got their hair done. And then the Franks just had ass for some reason. I don't know, we'll see what the theme is for .exe, but, uh, <laughs> we'll enjoy this for now. How's everybody doing? I just want to point out that this song has the same sound effect from Pizza Tower when Peppino does a taunt. Bam! And now you can't unhear it. Now you can't unhear it. Let me hear. He's just he's just taunting. He's just taunting the whole time. Alright, let's play some Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, y'all. Bump bump bump. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Let me see you shake that ass, 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 ass. We are in what is that chapter? Chapter three? I, that that font is like really, really stylized. All oh, the cops are after me again. Talk about a low budget flight. No food or movies. I'm out of here. I was just about to say. I was hoping I could see, I could find another like uh, dancing spot to create a cipher. So I could finally switch to Trice. I've been trying to switch to Trice since like the middle of the last stream, but every time I try, it's like, sorry, the popo's after your ass. Like, come on, man. Wouldn't switching to a different character entirely like get the heat off of me? Whatever. Maybe I can go back to my base. Is there like a shortcut to do that? I don't think so. My slow descent to madness, the stream. Oh, it's been it's been a constant like every single stream. It's not just this stream. Let's be completely honest Better some heal. Oh, there's an SD card up there. Let's go. I Don't actually think I've been here yet. Where is this? Oh No, I've been here Yeah What we got map of the area not the bait I also got new graffiti. What is in what is here? The spray tannic panic up and then make a diamond or make a make a make a make a make a make a thing What do you even describe that as a pig hoof? Something like that How do I get to how do I get back to base? I would like to not be chased by the police. Thank you Man the map of this area is actually kind of big Let's just get back We'll, we'll get the opportunity to switch at some point. Some point. I hope. Yo, yo, there's something down here. I need that. How do I crawl? Why can't Metroid crawl? How, how to how to crawl? I'm, I'm starting to remember. Hold on. I have I have like a I have like a slide button, right? Yeah. They taught me this mechanic at like the beginning of the game, but I've never like used it. Oh, hello. New graffiti? Headphones on, helmet on. I didn't see the whole thing, but that was complicated already. Slow descent. I'm falling like a chicken egg. Did y'all ever do the, the egg drop in high school? Where you had like science, like competitions or like stuff like that? I did egg drop in in high school, but like, I wasn't very creative. What the hell is that pattern? Uh, you make like, a star? Hi, hello, hi, hello, hi. Ah! Hold on, I'm, I'm looking at my phone, I'm busy. Yeah! Mine broke. I wasn't very creative, so I just like put the egg in a shoebox with a bunch of sponges. So of course I lost all the time. Like I did, I used the strategy more than one time, even though, 
even though I knew it didn't really work well. And meanwhile, like kids from other high schools would have like these 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 like complex physics rigs with rubber bands that suspend the egg in the middle of this like giant dodecahedron. I like who has the time to come up with that? We are high school we are high school students. I'm just trying to get good grades, sir, ma'am. Jeez. Encountering resistance! Marvelizing armored units! Cool, they they got me for spraying in the exact same spot I've already sprayed. Hold on, I need to talk to the old head. I'm starting to remember what I was doing at the end of the last stream. It's it's a slow process, but I'm getting there. Yep! Hi! Hey yo! You know maybe you new school kids aren't so toy after all. Take a look, I've cleared the mall entrance for you. You're never too old to admit you were wrong about something. Now shoo! Wow, these are the most level-headed boomers I've ever seen. I appreciate them. It's because they're a part of the old crew, man. They know. They know how it's been. They're the people who played Jet Set Radio back on the Dreamcast. Get me the hell out of here, dude. You made a parachute for the egg, some kids just brought pillows. You don't remember what you did. I remember having like a size limit. So I thought if I had like a shoebox that was the exact size of the limit, then you could maximize the sponge padding. But uh, because the sponges were just the sponges I had in my house, they're like the cheap sponges my parents bought from the 99 cent store. They weren't very soft at all. Yo, Troy's come back. I want to use you. I want to be you. Please, let me. All right, we can use the new, uh, we can use the new graffiti we just got. Let me just double check what that was because I haven't been able to check because I've been pursued by the police. Down, top right, bottom left. All right, I can do that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I wonder who was the artist for all these graffiti pieces. They're really good. I wanna know your name. I wanna know the name of the person who did all of this art. It's really good. Sick. Uh, Queen Miku did it. Your eggs broke. Damn it. What a waste of egg, dude. We have to provide our own eggs, too. So, like, who knows if people, like, got, like, secret eggs that were harder shelled or something. Oh, 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 I meant to talk about this. I meant to talk about this. Look at all this dancing. All this dancing. Check this out. Check this out. The director of this game, the director of this game actually did all the mocap for the breakdancing because the director is a breakdancer himself. Check it out. Like every dance in this game, he, he did them all. Like, that's just him moving and shaking. Look at it, it's one-to-one. -one. I don't know what motion capture application they used, or if they just, like, animated it by hand. But dude is talented, dude. Dion Coster's the name. Man. Like, the fa it's not just that the dancing is so good, but the fact that it's just straight up the motion capture. They didn't, like, exaggerate it to make it look better on the character model. They didn't, like touch it up. No, that he could just dance that good. All right, let's get Trice up on in here. Yo, what's up? Love when people get to put passion into their project. Like, look at that. That's the game director right there. He's doing the thing. Just watch him go. Just watch him dance. You wish you knew how to dance. You try that and with pretzel legs. Hey, look, you got to utilize the pretzel legs. Like, you got to let them unpretzel and then you just come up with a whole new dance move. Fuck these shopping carts. <laughs> Yo, he's got the bike. Look at these tricks. Can you even do this in real life? Look at that, he's spinning on the pedal. That's cool. Secret Egg is your spy name. Did I know that Alan Olev Walker is a Norwegian music producer and DJ for the song Faded? I did not know that. That's all I can really say about that. I did not know that. Well, come on in, Bampinoy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, graffiti some more feety. Feel the beat go. 
I find it really funny he's just got like straight up this jetpack on. He can just fly around. Like everybody else has jetpack too, but his is literally like double speakers or something. Alright, let's get higher. Yep. Technology. I gotta say, this mall doesn't really have that many stores in it, does it? Hey, who are you? I recognize you from the trailers. You must be imported. Right out, right. I love her hair. Look at that. Hey, you're that girl who was with DJ Cyber, right? Does Trice know her? He's not saying anything. Call me vinyl, if anything, kid. I know this here mall like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. Yeah, man, don't listen to her. She's always with futurism, you know? Our enemies. I don't know. I have a feeling she's not out to get us. Follow me or don't. It's up to you. I wonder if there's, like, other, uh, other extreme sports to use. Like, is there a dude on a scooter in this game, maybe? Come on, let's just follow her for now. If she can lead us to Daddy XC, that'd be great. I like how I'm playing as Trice, the person who didn't want to follow her. Don't know if we can trust her, but let's see what she wants. All right, I guess. Man, I never played those, like, BMX extreme games. Back on uh, the PlayStation 2. I only ever played Tony Hawk. Wasn't there, like, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer as well? I only remember because I never played that, but I played as Kelly Slater in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. And then he was just, like, using a... Using a freaking surfboard as a skateboard. Yay, let's go. That combo works at least. Is this a DeLorean? We gotta go back to the future? Hell yeah. You always play Tony Hawk. I played every Tony Hawk from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 up to Underground 2. And that game was basically just jackass the game. Like it literally was. Like Tony Hawk wasn't the star. It was all about freaking Bam Margera. Autumn for Bell. Ooh, we got new effort for Bell. Well, now I just want to switch back to Bell. I'll, 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 I'll use try some more because I don't know how those outfits look like either yet. Hold on, I want to do. Uh. There. Yeah, that's the new one. Oh, that's gross. I love it. Reminds me of Margu. If he was here right now to see that, he'd love it. Coffee scroll, what's up? Number two wakeboarding unleashed. Ripsy, did I miss Ripsy? You're sick. Oh no! Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Definitely get better soon. But uh, hope you've been relaxing and just taking it easy. Absolutely. When I got COVID the other day, I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm not working. My boss was totally understanding. I actually tried to work through the first two days because they were like, not too bad. But then at the at the end of Tuesday, I'm like, oh no, it's happening. My will is degrading very quickly. Bum, 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 bum. Just a sinus thing? Oh goodness. Absolutely. I'm hoping that's all it is, for sure. Yeah, welcome on in. We're playing some more Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. We're following this mysterious lady who was with our mortal enemy. But also, like, the only person who has any idea of our robot friend's former identity. I love this song. It's like a little owl just hooting in your mind. Yep. Oh shit! No. I missed. Loving the anime sound effects in here. You got the original like Pokeball sound effect going on. Don't think I don't notice it. 
I remember Sailor Moon used that sound effect a lot too. Yow. Your siblings would compete to get the most points. Yeah, I, one of my memories of playing Tony Hawk is when I invited my cousin over to play. And because I was a kid, I'm like, just play with the infinite balance, infinite uh, grinding, you know, so that uh, I can just have fun. And of course, my cousin would be the one to show me that, like, hey, if you do that, then I'm just going to infinite combo and just beat your ass. I'm like, oh, oh okay, maybe we shouldn't have infinite balance on that. <laughs> Just like this game, if you just grind into an infinite combo, you just don't have a limit to your score. Reaper! Say the moon. Chicken went from doing okay to can't leave my bed. I even streamed on the Monday. The Monday I first got it. I'm like, this ain't too bad. And then it was bad. Oh, this song again. This was the song that played when I was escaping prison. I thought that was the sound of like the prison alarm. It just, I, I, I legitimately thought the sound effect just went. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I don't know. This game is cartoony enough. Yo, is this a food court? What we got? Flip grill. Gourmet restaurant. Top 100 cafe. Chopu chopu. Yo, I want to get a chopu chopu. But the menu's all on the fritz. We got Shrimpy Champ. Yo, spicy hot. Yo, you want anything from the Shrimpy Champ? We shrimp in all day, every day. What's this little thing down here? Little meat man? And now. Sailor Moon was great if a card capture, you were a card capture Sakurai guy yourself. I never watched it, but for some reason, I always wanted to. Another Shrimpy Champ? Yo, they got a Starbucks across from a Starbucks. Black Lotus, that's a, oh, that's a tea house. I bet they got Boba. Boop, boop, boop. Focus always fell in Tony Hawk, you were bad, but you loved every second. It's just that, you know, era, the early 2000s, that this game is really recapturing. It's not just Jet Set Radio, but it's also Tony Hawk. It's also Pro BMX. It's like all those extreme sports PS2 games that you knew and loved back then. We got another Robo Post, baby. I want to find a Porto Potty so I can change clothes for Trice. Yo, it's a shortcut. Okay. A Starbucks across from a Starbucks is just Seattle. It used to be a joke that those existed, but now they're everywhere. I freaking saw one in New York in like the mid 2000s, and I thought that was funny. And then like Shrek 2, oh okay, Shrek 2 did a joke about it, and then it was just it was just normal. Like before that, the closest we had was the McDonald's that shared a parking lot with the Walmart that had a McDonald's in it, right? Yo! Yeah. Alright, let's do this again. Yeah! I am not sure where he was supposed to end up, but uh, I think we've gone full circle with this. Yeah. Oh, it's, he's probably supposed to wall run on that billboard. Sick. Sick. Right, let's try it. Sweet. Oh! Damn it. All right, okay. I'm definitely seeing a path there, but maybe that's not where I'm supposed to go. Where's my objective? I guess just the whole same old, same old. Grab the attention of the uh, local gang. Ooh, look at this. It's a cycle. Oh, yeah. Busted. Chicka chicka boom chick. Boom. Ba chick chicka chicka boom chick. Sport and exercise. Clothing and tools and services. I'm sorry. It's just like I haven't seen a mall this active in so long. <laughs> like there were malls in Japan, but they were more like 
shopping centers that just happen to have one store on each floor. What the heck is this? Got an ammo disc, anime break? Well, that's just the song that was already playing, wasn't it? The original one, at least with the owls. Go, 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 down, down, down. I need to leave. I need to leave this area, please. Trice, Trice. Thank you. You missed your mall. Uh, I used to be... I... I don't know about that whole, like... culture concept that like kids would hang out at the mall back in the day because I didn't do that as a kid but that was mostly because our local mall was kind of just like dinky and dingy and dirty in other words it started with D like the only good mall was in the next city over we'd usually just hang out at my friend's house so you know maybe that's why malls died you just grow up in a small town like me, and it's like, what mall? <laughs> what mall? If I grew up in Japan, though... Oh, you'd have so much... The, the malls are still very active in Japan. There is one, like, shopping center that I went to. It was... It was the place that had Pokemon Center Shibuya, I think? No, no. Well, yes, but I was thinking of a different one. It's the place in... Is it Ikebukuro? It has like the Capcom store. No, it is Shibuya. Never mind. It has the Capcom store. It has the Nintendo store. It has the Pokemon Center, and they're just all next to each other. Finally, I made it up. They're all in the same place. So if you go to one Pokemon Center, that's like the main one you would go to. If you only had time for one. Winter. No, summer. Winter. I like that color scheme though. Like, it says winter, but that's more like a fall with, like, the pumpkin orange. I like it. It reminds me of Back to the Future with the Marty McFly's life jacket. <laughs> Your mall just has laser tag and bowling. That's pretty good. It's not at a mall, but now I'm thinking of, like, all the little, like, VR arcades that have popped up. I made it. Now hold on, wait a minute. I'm gonna be cool stuff up here. Yo, there's an old head over here. Hello? And who might you be, darling? Well, well, I'll tell you. If you little rascals get at least 200 rep, I'll tell you a little secret. Wanna know your name? Let's watch her dance for a little bit. Look at her baggy pants. I love it. Well, it's just like a whole like bodysuit though. That's cool. Everyone has such good fit in this game though. Yo. Yo, hey. You won't find Daddy XC hanging around here. You gotta go further into the mall than this. I had the switch to open the shutters in the warehouse near here. So, think you can find it? Well, you know, judging by the cutscene, I think it's over there. <laughs> Just a hunch. Just a little bit of a hunch. Hold on, I'm gonna try to see if I can like somehow get up here. I feel like there's gotta be a way. What's on top of her shoes? That's a good question. I also like how we like get off of our bike or skateboard when we go upstairs. It's just like a, it's just like a big old knob. <laughs> you get to turn on your shoes. Did y'all have those sh Okay, maybe it was just me, but I used to have these like super high-tech shoes that like you press a button on the on the on the on the tongue of the shoe and it would just like measure how high you jump and how fast you run. It never worked really well, and of course I outgrew them immediately because I was a kid. But they looked cool. It was kind of like this because they just had like big old machinery, not machinery, but just like tech on the front. I also like her little, like, jacket, though. It's like a vest jacket. Alright, let's head on over. 
Head on over, baby. There's um There's a there's a trend for this sort of like mid 2000s aesthetic. It's called gadget punk. And that one uh, Twitter account, Taco, is like at the forefront of it. He's like, oh, wh what do you call that style? That style from all the like Digimon movies and anime from the mid 2000s and all the like Pokemon Red classic look. Like what? What do you call that? We we'll call it gadget punk, and it looks so good. We need that that, that aesthetic back. I swear. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hello? Am I interrupting your work? Goodbye. <laughs> the bike is too small for this man. That's true, though. Like, it is important to get a bike that, like, matches the length of your legs. Because look at how much he has to bend his legs to, to reach the pedals, though. Oh, shit! Now! Like, that is actually not comfortable at all. Like, he doesn't even sit on the seat. He has to stand. I haven't ridden a bike in years until I visited, uh, I visited some friends for Fanime up in NorCal. And like, they take more public transport up there because it is just expensive to live up there. So they're just like, yeah, you know, we ride our bikes wherever we can, save on gas. So you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll when in Rome do as the Romans, I'll ride a bike. And I'm like, I am, I am out of shape because I cannot. Why is it so hard to ride this bike? Turns out the bike was too small. So, uh, my legs would just, like... I would have to exert so much effort to balance and, like, use the bike properly. Like, you would think. You would think it wouldn't matter that much, but it really makes a big difference. I borrowed my other friend's bike, and it was, like, so much easier. <laughs> because it was bigger, and therefore, better for my legs. I'm not even that tall. It's just like my friend had a really small bike. They also had this like fold up portable bike. You could like throw it in the trunk of your car and then when you actually need to use the bike, you can just take it out. It's a cool concept, but it is really hard to balance on because the frame is so small. Any t minor movement in your balance like shifts the whole thing. Come on, come on. I'm waiting. Right out of your mind. Extreme sports bikes are smaller. Ooh. Better center of gravity. Why else will they be this tiny? I mean, the fact that you can have so much influence over the bike probably means that it's better in some way. Oh, I just broke something. But uh, I just want to be able to go from point A to point B, please. I like how the employees just let me do that. Like, I'm not paid enough to care about this. You just do whatever you want, man. Cool bike. Start a petition so I play Mall Tycoon. Mall Tycoon! Oh, that is a game, isn't it? Man, for a second I thought you were kidding. But I'm like, oh yeah, that is that does exist. You know what I want to play? I want to play Roller Coaster Tycoon. My coworker uh, works at theme parks on the weekends. And uh, he bought a gaming laptop just to play uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. And, and uh, what's that other, like, park simulator? Park simulator? Theme park simulator, something like that? Man, where's the door I opened? Not here. And why is the porta potty closed? I don't have any heat. Easy. Zoo Tycoon's a good one. Oh, look at that advertisement for coffee over there, though. That's just me. 
Push the tempo. Feel the beat though. Feel the beat go. Push the tempo. I was watching a documentary, and by that I mean just YouTube video essay on uh, whatever happened to SimCity. Because that used to be the big video game for simulation. Like, the fact that it had a Super Nintendo port, and it had Godzilla in it, and it was just like, what? You just don't have games like that anymore sometimes. Everything has to be super realistic, dude. Alright, I'm keeping my eyes peeled, because I don't actually know where I was supposed to go. Is it on the map? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is, I see it. Go, Trice, go! What's up, fellas? Hey, yo, what up? <laughs> yo, what up? Time to do what we came here for. Challenge Daddy XC and claim this mall for BRC. Oh, okay. I was gonna talk to Bella also, but... You guys take the lead. Don't worry, Red. You've got the bulletproof head. You, you all right? You all right, Red? Hmm. So what's your deal? Did DJ Cyber send you? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Hmm. I work for myself. Sometimes it involves working for others. Mm. You sure are hanging out with them like all the time, though. <laughs> Graffiti's not gonna pay any bills anytime soon, girl. I'm sure you know. As for today, let's say I'm looking after my own interests. I'm not too attached to my current boss with all that head cutting business. Seeing how you conquered Brink Terminal, I'm thinking of putting my money on you guys. It's a safe hmm. bet, I'll tell you that. BRC going all city is definitely going to get DJ Cyber in a bad spot. There's a real chance to get your old head back. You know, I used to know Foe personally. Oh? Mm. You knew Foe? Hmm? Say, Red, did you perhaps see Foe somewhere lately? Only in his mind. Somewhere in your mind, perhaps? Oh, well, yes, okay. What? I, I, what do you know about that? About my dreams? Conquer this burrow, beat that EXE crew, and I will tell you. Bye. Bye-bye now. It is really, like, just wholesome. Oh, look at the fish. Oh, that's so cool. It's like one of those aquariums that have, like, the fish just, like, hanging from the ceiling. And the whales and whatnot. I always love those aquariums, even though they're probably dangerous. I don't know. It is wholesome how like excited people are who made this game because you look at all the all the comments on like all the trailers and whatnot and you see the voice actors commenting like it was a pleasure to voice so and so for this game it's uh, I'm so excited to finally see it out dot exe mmm I know Okay, bear with me a second, because my freaking voice mod is, like, acting up. I updated it right before stream, and that was a big mistake, because now my stream deck, like, it says it's on, and then it's not. It, it, it's okay, it's not on right now. I want to switch to this voice. Wow, okay. Okay. All right, cool. The, looks like the uh, the latest update to either voice mod or my stream deck just broke it, so cool. Uh, I'm just gonna have to pick a voice manually, I guess. Dame, dame. Is it working? It is working. So you are the newbie who has been going over our pieces. Aren't you? Challenging the .exe, you got guts. How's that voice? Not too loud? It looks like it's peaking, but I don't know. You can't compete with us. All of us .exe can do 50 tricks in one combo, easy. 
50 trick combo. I don't even have to follow a line. I've done this before. I just need to find a good grind line. Well, I can't leave. <laughs> Look, I just want to find a good place to start, okay? I'm manualing. I'm manualing. Right on the fish. What trick combo? Oh, that's not a grind. Damn it. They start me at, at, at such an awkward place. I can't do any tricks here. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right, we'll use. Escalator. Let's go. 37, 38, 39. Sick. Hell it yeah. is sick. Pretty go. good if I do say so myself. Hell yeah. Uh, I gotta fall back to manuals. Please, 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 please. Oh. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. Go. Yo. I like the flips that just like. Do a complete 180 on you. Okay, you did it. You're not getting praise from me. L O L. Ba da ba ba do ba. I'm not getting any praise, but that graffiti looks pretty sweet. I've got the perfect place to use it, don't I? All right, make a little like, oh yeah, just make it like a full-on star. Second sight, not the babe. Second-hand land, what is that, book off? All right. Have y'all ever been to a mall recently? Other than the ones I went to in Japan, eh, not really. Not really at all. I, you know, I feel like in California specifically, well, you know, I may be just biased because I live in California and that's all I ever go, but it feels like outdoor malls are making a resurgence. Maybe I'm just imagining that, but it always feels like it's just like a different experience. You just get to, you know, go outside, walk a little bit, and oh hey, there's a cool like trading card store, or there's like an anime store, or you know, there's just like your your standard uh, designer clothing shop, and you can just buy whatever clothes you want. But it always starts with like, hey, I wonder if there's any trading card stores around here. That's usually why I go to one of those. Yo ho ho! I'm getting people's attention. Alright, before I forget, I wanna. Hey, what's up? Hey, Red! I, I'm not Red though. You're texting the wrong person. You tried boost tricking yet? Tap that boost at the same time you do a trick. You gotta have some boost to do it. It'll give you a nice bump to your base score and reset the combo timeout while doing a manual. Oh! Thank you, Bell. I was so confused at like those like high five ones where like the manual didn't last long enough. So, boost while doing a trick. Oh. Well, that just makes more sense. That would have been, you know, nice to know while I was trying to do that 50 combo. Makes it much more easier to boost on the ground. If I do this right, it can be infinite, I think. 
Because you build out combo. You build out boost by doing combo. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! I found you. Yo, what's up? So you're a bomb rush, big shot. If you're all that, maybe you can do better than my bro here. He's going for a score of 100,000 for four hours now. Maybe I should tell him to give up already, lol. <laughs> you fool. Almost 100,000. He's been stuck on 98,000 for hours. Well, yeah, no. I could easily beat that. Say that like it's hard or something. <laughs> Didn't even look at the score. I, I was ready to go for four hours myself. What? And it took you less than four hours. I'm using the right. I'm using the right voice, right? That sounds like robot. I cannot hear it myself. You're all here gonna have to tell me. <laughs> Please. Oh, oh, okay, cool. The voice mod was doing something weird there. I think we're good. Robot Chicken Lives. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It really has been looking acting weird. It, to me, on my Steam Deck, it says I'm using a completely different voice. Roboto. Domo Arigato. Clean, simple. Easy. It's the way that you're making me feel tonight. All right, where's that graffiti that I just unlocked? I was not paying attention. I was still, I was busy freaking out about my voice mod. Look at me, I'm comboing anyway. I'm really just scanning to see if I didn't miss the graffiti or something. Alright, there's enough of that. 242,000. Not the bad. Oh, here we go, there's something up here. Yoink. I was fully prepared to just like eat dirt. Cause landing sideways, you know, probably not the best thing to do on a bike. Yo, what's up? Okay, check out this flow. advanced pretty advanced I could do better though I was tempted to, to spray I you saw me actually pull out the spray can like I just it would just totally show him up no look at that look at that teleport I have not had enough. I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, to go back and, and, and paint that, paint that fish. Paint that fish, though. 
Now that's showing off. Got him. Lol, not bad. Hey, you know. At least they recognize. Wipe out of your mind. Is dirt tasty? Why am I eating it? Well, I, I watched that YouTube video from that prop guy, and he's like, how to make prop dirt, and you just blend a bunch of Oreos. I like Oreos. I would totally eat prop dirt. It is really funny how much it just looks like dirt, like potting soil. But it makes sense, because Oreos got, got those little bits of white cream in it. No, 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 no. Why? Okie dokie. Wipe out. Dirt and worms is crushed Oreos, chocolate pudding. And gummy worms. Delicious. I want some now. I've had that before. You're unlocking memories. I haven't had that since I was like in elementary school. Come on, man. I'm really like getting nostalgia over Jet Set Radio Future right now. I barely played Future, to be completely honest. I played a lot more of just regular Jet Set Radio. Feel the beat go. <laughs> I was hoping I could shortcut it. Just double on back, baby. Campaign trail. I can practice it right now. Campaign trail. I can I can I can't even see what that says. Bomb rush for 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 what does that say? For Luigi? For Luigi T? <laughs> I can't see what that says. It's so hard to read. Who the hell are you? Oh, yo, I see more high fives. Eleven? I'm sorry, there are eleven on this line. I don't even see them. Show it again. You think you know what it says? All right, what does it say? The name of the game is Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, but I, that just clearly says Bomb Rush for something. Bomb Rush for Libert? No. Also, welcome on in, Joseph Numbers. Thinking about who you want for Mortal Kombat. Shredder from TMNT. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat 1, right? It is so funny to me that it's like a big old reboot of Mortal Kombat, but they're also just like advertising so many crossover stuff. Because that's just what Mortal Kombat does now. With the DC superhero licensed stuff. Gotta make use of their licenses, I guess. 
It says L is real 2401. Of course. Easy. They just had to they just had to wait this long. Sick. Let's go. Memory unlocked. Make that a Yakuza go. objective. <laughs> Oh, oh, it goes all the way down here. Where are the other high fives? I'm missing like so many. Bomb rush for liberty. See, I thought it might say, li I don't think it says liberty though. But I don't. I can't think of any other word that starts with L and ends in Y, so maybe it's Liberty? It is called Campaign Trail, so maybe it's supposed to be like political or something. Liberty is our best guess for now, but I died. I'm still leaving it open. Call you when it goes all the way down here. Whoa! Hold on, I don't know about that combo, Yolo Pikachu. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? We're doing a big old combo. Oh, I almost lost it. I'm trying to find all the little high five kids, wherever they are. I don't think there are any down here. Oh, there's one here. All right, all right. Oh, I think this is what the line is supposed to look like. All right, let's just follow it. You want solid snake to kick Scorpio, Scorpio's ass? Outfitting the the person that original the, the character that originally sparked crossovers in Super yeah. Smash Brothers, just crossing over with every other game. Hey. That'd be fun. Do 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 do. All right, just two more. Two more. I don't see any of them. Boo boo boo. I I find it really hard to get excited for fighting games anymore. Cause it always feels like there's just the next, the next one to get excited for. It's like. I don't know. I feel like the only ones that really uh, bring excitement to me anymore are the ones by Arc System Works. Guilty Gear and all that. And of course, Street Fighter 6. That, that game looks awesome. I still haven't played it, but I want to. Ten. I'm missing one. Where... Where could the lad be? There! There! I see it! I see it! Yes! That did not need to be that complicated. Look at that, I got a times 30. And a 216 trick combo. I, I'm still going. I didn't see where it was. What opened? Reminder, Mortal Kombat's now a smash game for all the 80s action movie heroes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the weird thing. Well, not weird. That's the hype thing, actually. In the flow. Keep your combo going for four minutes. It was out of necessity game. Don't give me an achievement for that. Got a Steam achievement. Clean. I'm looking for the post thing that opened. I wish I could, like, see it again. Oh, there it is. I think it is. Yeah, that's the one. 1,456,000 points. Yo, two days off. I see. Whenever you get one of these CDs, you can actually just listen to whatever one song for the rest of the game. I need the song for Ass Ass. I miss it already. 
Let me hear that ass, 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 ass. Wait, why would I hear the ass? They leaked pack two for Mortal Kombat? Oh no. Let's leave it a surprise for people who don't want to get spoiled. I don't particularly care, but... It used to be so exciting that... Like, whenever the Smash Brothers would reveal new characters and nobody would know who it's gonna be. And then you have, like, the Street Fighter Six DLC characters all leaked and the, all the excitement is just gone. Like, those are the kind of leaks that I wish would not happen. Because it just erases all of the hype. And the hype is what keeps yeah. games like Street Fighter 6 going. Hell yeah. Yeah. Sick. Sweet. I feel like Sephiroth was a good example where people Hell didn't yeah. know it was gonna happen. The best, yeah, totally. The, the best Smash Brothers reveals are the ones where like, people are thinking, this could never happen. And then and yet it's on their screens. Like when Banjo-Kazooie, after people were wanting them for years, yeah. When, when Minecraft Steve showed up after Sakurai was like, remember, don't get angry. The Smash Brothers is about celebrating gaming. <laughs> you know, in case people don't like it. And then freaking Ridley, where everybody for years was saying Ridley was too big. What else? Who else was just like a big old like, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, this person's in Smash. There's so many examples. Too many examples. I feel like the next Smash game, Gino is gonna be that example. After we've been asking for him for years. Just thinking about it. I mean, there's a remake of Super Mario RPG coming out. Hey, where am I supposed to be going, actually? I've just been comboing. Uh, I see an objective over there on the second floor like over here waiting for crystal from star fox hey she was an assist trophy it's not impossible little mac went from assist trophy to real character Ow. i love how people just like dance wherever they are in this game. Here, I'll join you. Just give me a second to start my idle animation. Uh, Miku gets Monday paid for Labor Day. I forgot Labor Day! Oh my gosh! Yeah, isn't that this weekend? I also get the day off. It's gonna be great. Most places want you to work before they give holiday pay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like if paces are like, oh, people don't want to work anymore. How about start by giving people holiday pay even if they just joined? That would definitely improve people's moves, I think. Mood. You got some rapture, but can you slide? Grab all the boost charges in one sliding combo if you think you are all that. Whoa. I like that the game is reteaching me this mechanic in case I forgot. That's a lot of boost charges, though. I'm probably gonna have to make use of the, like, boost dash. Hiya! Oh, wait, this is infinite. Oh, my ass is gonna be sore after this one! Ah! It burns! No! Not into the pit! It burns! Did I do it? Okay, damn, you got all the boost charges. So how about you boost on out of our turf? No can do, buckaroo. I'm here for a mission. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that, it's running with the Moai head. So the Bomb Rush crew has decided to take on .exe, but we aren't stupid, we've been receiving signals. Hold on, let me see how this sounds, because I'm curious. Don't miss the signal. What signal? Breakdancing. Oh. Let me see, let me see. 
So our intel, we know exactly what is coming, and it spells trouble. Now to you guys, that sounded double because it's like capturing and also listening. But to me, I just heard that once. All right, this is perfect. I love this one. If you survive without bullet holes, get 111 rep. Anything below that means nothing. LMAO. Y'all with your elite speak. You know, I thought, oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that lead speak was coming around to being cool again. But I don't think so. Now hold on, wait a minute. Suspect surrounded, waiting for further instruct. Hey. Okay. Oh no. They've been mind washed. Also, they're being brain controlled. The perpetrator is armed and dangerous. Use of deadly force is permitted. Oh my God! Run! Run! Oh, why am I not the bulletproof man? You can't catch me. I'm too fast. But also, I need that graffiti. Ah, I've been shot. I didn't get it. Not clean. Yeah. Moai Marathon. That's a good one. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. The popo is on my tail. I have the power of anime and Tony Hawk on my side. Anthony Hawk, don't fail me now. You know, Tony Hawk is, you know, every day still facing that existential crisis. Wow, Anthony Hawk, just like that skateboarder, right? Yeah, imagine. He must be on this flight. Yeah, you know, maybe. I wonder how much of his existential nightmare is because people just like assume that he's just young forever. Man's a father of like how many kids and has been so for how long now? Remember when he did his last 900? That was like three years ago, man. That was so long ago. Like he's still skating, he's still skating, but uh, he's just got he's just gotta like you know warm up his bones first. All right, y'all. For the next Super Smash Brothers, what is the character that you absolutely want to happen? Even if that might mean that it's at the expense of characters that have existed that probably won't make it back. I'm thinking we need to make rep, don't we? Uh, I'm thinking Majima. I've talked about how the creator of Yakuza was like, you can't be in Smash. You can't be in Smash because that means you'd have to hit a girl. Because there are girl characters in Smash. But Majima. Majima is fair game, though. Right? Get, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up to get down. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How much rep did they say I needed? I have not been paying attention. Yo, new bike. Mr. Top. You can go to the center garage and hide out to switch your ride. Mr. Top? Or did I just, like, get a bike for, like, red? There's so many... <laughs> Paint the ball. Kanoa, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we need to celebrate gaming, y'all. Got my hair done and I got my nails done. I'm switching music. Oh, I have to use this music. Besides using uh, whatever CDs I've gotten. Bum 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 ba dam bum bum. Uh, didn't make it. I'm running out of things to paint, y'all. Uh, 
Let's go. Mr. Top? Where's Mr. Bottom? Oh, that's Mr. Libido. We're not playing Yakuza 0 tonight. Not yet. Sorry. Mr. Masakus is in this game though, remember? He was Mr. he was Mr. Claustrophobic. Get out of here. Shut up. Ah. Anybody see any more graffiti spots? They're probably on the fish. Yeah, there's one right there. Can I make it from here? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Yep. Let's heck and go. That was a new one. Alright, I'm looking at more of the fish. There's gotta be at least one spot I haven't hit yet. That billboard up there? Ta 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 ta, Shammy! Welcome on in. Hello? They're airdropping. What is that? Is that a metal gear? It has hands. It looks like it's a metal gear. They're putting. They're dropping a gosh dang metal gear. Of course. Of course, right through the sky roof. Oh no! I didn't know we're playing Armored Core already. Tashemi, welcome on in. How was the stream? Hope it was good. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a Metal Gear deployed on my ass. No, not the Armored Core Six Fires of Rubicon. Oh, oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. I don't know. What, I don't want to know what those hands do. Whoa! Hide, hide. It's working. Yeah, you're trying, huh? Yeah, you're trying. Thanks for giving a shout out to Shishemi. How was it? Playing some Pikmin 3, I see. Oh, I can grind up those. Yeah, that's right. Nice. I, I feel missiles, but I do not want to see the missiles. I'm leaving. Oh, he's trying. Uh-oh. Uh oh uh oh Woo! The Shemi finished the main story for Pikmin 3. Congratulations! Do some mission and side stories. I see, I see. I need to get there, I need to get there. No! Whoa. Stop, 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 stop. I need to find a fish. You can't shoot through me. You can't shoot through this fish. This fish is armored. <laughs> I'm safe. I'm safe. You think that one graffiti says bomb rush for all city? It has taken us this long. It has taken this long that's this long to figure it out, but you may be right. Let's see. I can't graffiti it here, but I'm gonna graffiti something. Oh yeah. Now you're unarmed. Baby. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Metal gear. Yo, that's that's an ungraffitied fish. Hold on. Excuse me, Mr. Tank. Deep dive. What you trying? What you trying? Okay. Can I grind up that? I can! Welcome on into Shemi and everybody from Techemi Stream. We're playing some Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Sorry, a boss battle started as soon as you came on in. 
Who knew Metal Gear was susceptible to paint? Good job! Good job! Let's go! Armored Core, Armored Cod 6, Fires of Rabbit Fish. Ari, did you like come up with that fish? I wish it was real. Beep bap boop ba deep ba boodle dap boop boop. Wow, Tashemi, I didn't know you knew all the lyrics to this game's music. It's accurate though. Rabbit fish is a real fish. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Just going full naked snake with it. <sighs> what does it taste like? Alright, let's take a look at that one graffiti. I think you're right. Yeah, that is what it says. Now I see it like completely clearly. A L L. The L's are like layered, so it didn't look like two L's. And the city looks like a T. It is Bomb Rush for all city. Absolutely. Of course, why would I not think that? It's like the plot of the game. Alright, what are we doing? I beat a boss and I'm like, what's the objective again? We gotta head that away. Oh, that's like outside. Do I just leave? I guess. Blade's back, got dinner. I didn't notice you come on in. Welcome on in. Did you get something good? I just had like a single piece of chicken for dinner. But like, I've been snacking all day, so it's like, it's not surprising that I'm not that hungry. I bought like two gallons of milk because they were on sale at Costco. But I'm like, I, I can't use this much milk because I'm lactose intolerant. But uh, you know, lactate helps a lot. Party people. So I've just been eating a lot of cereal lately. Got this giant box of Special K from Costco. Milk? Why torture myself? What do you mean torture? I still enjoy eating dairy and milk and cheese. And cheese. And cheese. What's the torture part? I don't understand what you're talking about. That's a problem for future me. And cereal is just too good though. I need to get some Oreos and some more Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. I do actually have an order of Magic Spoon trending, I just uh, haven't gotten it yet. That'll be what all this milk goes for. Cookie Crisp! Oh, you know what? Magic Spoon's uh, new like flavor of the month is like cookie flavor. So I'm thinking it's probably cookie crisp flavored. I haven't, I haven't, you know, gotten it yet to verify, but that's what I'm thinking. That's where I'm going. I, I can't check the map. This is not correct. No, that is not correct. I'm out of here. The question of technology. The story was a ride. Discount milk. Hell yeah, discount milk. It was like five dollars for two gallons. Is that cheap? Is that expensive? I don't know. I live in Los Angeles. I have to pay whatever I pay. But to me, five dollars for two gallons is like unheard of. Because usually I pay two fifty for half a gallon. Because that's what milk costs in LA. And I, that I know is expensive. Because milk in my hometown is not that expensive. It's such a sad situation. The cost of living. <laughs> how much is milk? Everybody in chat, post how much milk costs for you. I want to. I want. I want to see something. I want to know just how much expensive it is to live in LA. I am still like. Totally confused where I'm supposed to be going right now. Sweet. Hell yeah. Scoogee's going to bed. Have a good night. 
sweet dreams and plenty of milk. Milk. You don't ever buy lactose free milk? I do. But uh, it wasn't on sale. And also, it costs more. Because, of course, it does. That makes sense to cost like two fifty for half a gallon when it's on sale. Usually it's like three something. But uh, compare that to five dollars for two gallons, and it's hard to resist that deal. Milk is two ninety nine a gallon in Atlanta. Okay, okay. Five twenty eight for two percent ultra filtered milk. That's Canadian dollars, so that sounds about right. Four to five bucks for a quart of lactose-free milk, Kroger brand. The only milk you buy. Not sure what the regular gallon. Four to five bucks for a quart. Just one quart? Just a quart? Whoa! Dang. Okay. Yeah, like that's. I'll I'll pay whatever it takes for the lactose-free stuff if if regular milk's not on sale. Why are we just talking about milk? I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going in the game, but I would like to go somewhere. Hut, hut. Okay, okay. I need to get through that area, which means I need to head towards that part of the mall. The map for this area is kind of weird because it's layered. It makes sense, but uh, I get a little bit lost. Seven bucks for a gallon? I do not buy an entire gallon of lactose-free milk. That is expensive. It probably would cost seven bucks. Hello, there's a bathroom. Let's change our clothes, baby. Let's go summertime. This feels pretty summery. I don't, I don't know what what makes it feel so summery, but it is. With some bright ass shoes. Oh, I haven't graffitied this area. Last time I was here, I was comboing. Oh, the cops are here too! Turrets, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my combo's dead. Damn it. I blame the cutscene. Yeah. Hey, that wasn't an, att an attack. I was just here. Also, did that sign say Taco Parade? I like Taco Parade. Hold on, let's appreciate Taco Parade. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Tetsuya Nomura size shoes. Nothing will take nothing less. All right, Moi Marathon was like make a make a triangle, starting up. Got it. All right, what's that text from Bell? Want some tips for the crew battle with Daddy XC? It's all about getting combo multipliers up by hitting corners, wall rides, and ramps. Only give them all right the first time you hit. Keep looking for new places. The crew battle is a fun idea. It just feels like I'm doing the same thing for. Whoa, that's a sideways grind. It just feels like I'm doing the same thing for each one of them. And I'm not sure how they're gonna like shake it up at all, if anything. <laughs> Wait, no. I want to use this graffiti. Yeah. One dollar fifty Australian for a liter. That's three sixty-eight per gallon. Not bad. I mean, compared to LA prices. Not bad. That seems about normal for LA. A new bike? I found gum? You can't say that! That's a character from Jet Set Radio! It's illegal. Nothing else in the history of the world can be named gum. No, I always start with left. I start with down. No, I start with up. Ba -da -da -da. So y'all know I watch Nile Red, that 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 chemistry YouTuber, 
And there was one episode, episode, like it's a series. There was this one video he did on just making lactose free milk. And it really just boiled down to putting a bunch of lactase in the milk. And I'm like, lactate pills are just lactase. Could I just like drop the pills in the milk and just have lactose free milk? The coolest thing I learned from that video was that uh, the enzyme of lactase, it just goes infinitely. Like you just, if you put one pill of lactate in your milk, it would just de-lactose the whole thing, basically. It just takes a while. You're like, where does the fuel come from, that reaction? Lactose is a sugar, it's literally the fuel. That's cool. Just make my own lactose free milk, dude. Let's go. Easy. Sick. That's, yeah, it is sick, dude. I don't care if the lactose is free, take it out. Me, whenever I get new glasses and I'm like, no, I don't want transition lenses. I, I don't care if it's free from my insurance. I don't want transition lenses because every time I take a picture outside, it looks like I'm wearing like weird sunglass hybrids, but they don't look like sunglasses, so they don't look good. It's it's a struggle. I have glasses that have transition lenses, but you know I've been I just been wanting ones that don't. Cause it's always a struggle when I take a picture outside with glasses. This was the one I just picked up, right? Yeah, that all oh, the stripey zebra. All zebras are stripey. Like the the all like sliced up zebra. That's cool. I love the art in this game. It feels like it's not worth it to attack the police officers because they just keep coming. Whoa! Out of my face. Happy records. Get the active temperature of the lactase in. Yep. Oh, yeah. That would speed it up. Yo, is that Beerus from Dragon Ball? All right, get these turrets out of here. Got some cheaper milk, do some science. You know what? I could. Just try it. I've heard that it decreases the shelf life, ow. Of the milk. Which makes me think, why does lactose-free milk tend to have, like, a higher shelf life? When taking the lactose out lowers it. That's probably because when they make lactose-free milk, they add preservatives because they know it makes it last not as long. Here we go! Yeah! Kick it off! Too bad I can't leave chicken theme tags. That's the one thing I was hoping was in this game, but I guess it's not. Making your own tags? Because you could do that in Jet Set Radio. There's this whole thing where you could like upload them to like the internet and then the Dreamcast would like read them from the internet if you had the, the broadband adapter or just like dial up adapter. That's so wild. Like stuff like that was being done in 1999. <laughs> Or whenever Jetson Radio came out, 2000. Six. Video games ahead of their time. The Dreamcast was so ahead of its time. And you just put your own art up there. Can't do that in Bomb Rush Cyberfunk because you might get people like making TOS stuff. But I would just make some chickens. I'm going backwards. I've been here. Oh! 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 oh. Combat in this game is a little just unfulfilling. It takes so many hits to down an officer, and then they just instantly get replaced. Move out! Tough special, armed and dangerous, deploying snipers. Great! Look at that, they don't have barrels as long as, as that one guy. Revolver Ocelot. I got visual. You ain't got shit. 
They've had milk at body temperature for a while for the lactase to work, will cause bacterial growth, been pasteurized for longer to kill the bugs that run along a longer shelf rice. Oh! So it's without preservatives? Oh, thank goodness. I'm happy about that. Makes you wonder why they don't pasteurize regular milk that much. They do it, but they don't do it for that long. It's a trade-off. Probably, like, the cost of pasteurizing it outweighs the cost of just, like, selling it. Punk? Who you calling a punk, punk? Alright, I'm out of here. Ha-ha! Whoa, the snipers! I'm going! Oh, you pasteurize the minimum time possible to minimize the cooked flavor. I didn't know milk had a cooked flavor. What? I've been playing some Pokemon Sleep. Of course I've been. For the past however many weeks. But, uh, this week, there's a new type of food for my Snorlax that I haven't had yet. I've been making drinks and desserts. And here's the thing, my War Turtle which is like my highest level Pokemon, just gives me nothing but milk. Like every time I tap him, he gives me like seven bottles of milk. And I'm like, where are you getting this milk? You are not a mammal. How, where? Where does this milk come from, Mortortle? Where are you sourcing it? Is it safe? Is it pasteurized? Is it lactose free? But uh, the, the main drink I've been making because my War Turtle gives me all the milk is just Warm Moo Moo Milk. That is a recipe in the game. It's just the milk that's been warmed. I wanna know your name. You know the cooked flavor of UHT, the ultra heat treated equals cooked. I never knew that. Now I wanna cook some milk. Clean. All right, how did I get that high before? I don't remember doing anything special. I got him. Oh, oh, graffiti. Knowledge. The more you know. Ah, it was this way. Whoa! I don't want to fight. I just want to go. I'm out of boost. All right, all right, all right, all right. I want to know your name. Let's go. Sweet indeed, but I need that graffiti. Wonderful. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Background is in microbiology. Hey, well, there you go. I'm glad we have an expert in the chat. So, uh, what does cooked milk taste like? <laughs> I have cooked with milk before, but I've never... I don't think I've ever eaten cooked milk. I put milk in the microwave sometimes just to have warm milk. I haven't really done that in a while, you know, ever since I found out I was lactose intolerant. I've told the, I've told the story of that. It was 2004 when I first, well, when I second visited the Philippines. But it was the first time I visited anywhere on a plane after, uh, you know, the year 2001. So my parents were just not aware of the new rules and the new TSA stuff that was going on. Can you believe that there was a time before the TSA? Flying was so easy back then. Got it. Oh, I fell, but it was worth it, I think. I hope. What is that? Raver Funk. XL. Cool, you just do that. 
Ooh, how do I get up? I'm like all the way down here again. I don't like this. There's so many cops in the mall. This is excessive force officers. Uh, all this milk talk is reminding Fluffy Obi. Also, what's up, Fluffy Obi? Did I say hello or did I not? I I, I can't keep track right now. <laughs> Read a story about a crazy lady who was trying to haggle down the price of milk out of a vending machine at a farm. A vending? How do you haggle a vending machine? What? Saying that's not fresh enough? It's at a farm. How much fresher can it get? Maybe it tastes different because it's fresh. Or maybe, you know, you just want free milk. That umami flavor you get in shelf stable UHT milk. Nothing different about the milk itself, just heat treatment. Hmm. Interesting. I gotta do some experiments at some point then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Let's get this out of my hair. Shut the hell up, you nerd. What out? What out? Out? What out? What out? Out? Oh, there's a there's a thing out here. Ow. What is that? O-M-E-E? -E? Yo, it's censored! I see. Alright, so you go right and then you just go around. I see. I see, that is a that is a naked lady. I like it, let's paint it. TOS, baby! Neat. Me, myself. You got you had a vending machine with unmitigated violence. Me, myself, and Irene style. It has been so long since I watched Me, myself, and Irene. Oh, Jim Carrey. Again, to think that he ended his career with Sonic 2. Alright, here we go. This is new. .exe, I'm coming for you. Oh! Wait, that was awesome. Shit! Oh, yo! Yeah, baby. My rep. My rep is going up. I'm not questioning the physics of how I can grind up this rail infinitely. It's all about what looks cool, right? Oh, we can lose some heat. Because, you know, I'm for some reason, I'm one of the only pedestrians left here. Crazy lady was arguing with the lady working at the farm, saying one euro for a liter was too much. Tried to buy a baby calf to get her own. Calf was male. She didn't understand the problem. Her own milk from the calf? From a male calf? From a steer? I don't think that's the kind of milk you want. Smooth. That just lost all of my heat. Oh my gosh. Yo. Where am I going? I have to make it all the way back to the main area. No. Oh no. I did not. I should not have left that area. My objective's way back there. Well, at least I lost heat. This mall is entirely too big. It is the biggest level we've seen yet. I'm surprised. I appreciate it, but like... I thought I would kick the trend of only doing one uh, rival battle per stream. I guess I'm still on track to do more than one. I don't think I am, though. Yup, don't mind me. Wop, 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 wop. I uh, should be in this area? Yeah, my objective is right below me. Oh, they were dancing here. I totally ignored them before. I spray painted behind them. All right, y'all. I got some dances for you. Kill, kill. Okay, you made it all the way to the main stage. All the way up here just to be stomped by us. 
Bring the old heads. We are going to smoke you in style. Feels like they're the most honorable so far. Everybody else didn't want to deal with the old heads. Listen up, you youngins, and listen good. BRC is at it again, stirring up a storm. You know what time it is, baby. Time for a crew battle. Make short work of those tricks and combos. Crew with the highest score after two minutes will win the battle. We'll be watching. All right, let's jam. Lady's gonna have to spend more than one euro to keep her own cow. They don't know about these economies of scale. Sick. Sick. Go. Please. Hell yeah. Gotta make that combos, baby. Yeah. Hey, don't combo. This is my rail. Get your own. Hell yeah. Let's go. We're winning. We're winning. Manual. Oh, I got off the. I got off the thing. I messed up my combo! Damn it! That's bad. That's bad. I accidentally got off of my bike. Now I don't have a combo. They're gonna catch up, dude. I don't like this man. Wait! Why? I was pressing the wrong button to boost. The wrong button entirely. That's what was happening. I was pressing the get off my bike button. Shoot. I'm an idiot. It's okay. It's okay. We're not too far behind. Clean. It's working. Am I like the only one getting points? What the hell are Bell and Red doing? Please. Cows aren't cheap. You played Harvest Moon. You're clearly an expert. Yeah, you have to get like the cow medicine and then like get the special milk that like makes your cow pregnant. Huh. You know what? <laughs> oh, I lost the combo again! I am a fool. Did I win? I didn't see. Time's up. <clears throat> this was gonna be a close one, y'all. Boom bap. Give me the rap. Oh. Yo! Check, check, check it out. Another one down. BRC is dominating. Seems like it's your crew to leave, Dot EXE. For what it's worth, it was entertaining. For what it's worth, it was stressful. The RC has run the battle! You've learned to do breaking. Use down to start dancing. Yeah. You were lucky this time, lol. But without the tech, luck is not enough. Hey, I'm plenty tech. Whether I like it or not. You would do better to give up on all city. There is a new police operation set up to smoke writers like you. Yeah. They call it Project Algo. Al Gore? We have been picking up the signals of their new crackdowns. Oh, it's the algorithmic crime detection. Man, that's not even fair. That's not even legal. Is there like a higher government here that, you know, has a brain? No. Wow, how realistic. You've got a cyber head, why don't you use it? I don't know what you're talking about, fool. Man, I wanna play Harvest Moon. I wanna play Harvest Moon. I wanna play that remake of, uh, that remake of Friends in Mineral Town. Supposedly, people say it's the best Harvest Moon. Only two burrows left! Look at Belle, she's so happy. Oh, city. Hmm? Hey. It's you. Vinyl. 
<clears throat> well done. The bomber's crew takes another burrow. Is the game just mm. over when you take all the burrows? I feel like this is a short game. Watch out now. DJ Cyber might actually take you seriously. Mm. If it isn't Vinyl the Freelancer. Hmm. Red? I want to tell you something. No, you know, it can wait a second. I'm probably going to have another, like, dream flashback. It's about your head. My head? Hmm. Hold on. Keep it TOS. Which head? I'm starting to think my head isn't so cyber to begin with. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Eek! <gasps> Whoa! Who? He's... <gasps> he's dead. <coughs> what? When did that happen? What? Oh, shit! That's his... Oh, that's his head! That's his eyeball! That's the .exe boss! He's straight gone! How did this happen to him here out here in the open? Hmm... Looks like he knew too much. Did he tap into Project Algo? They blew up his brain! He's starting to make moves. Hmm. You guys better protect your necks. Um, it's a little too late for me. Uh-oh, hold on. I need to have an existential crisis real quick. Nice. It's like I'm in a big old honeycomb. Delicious. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm terrorizing the town. It's okay, you're not real. What's this line for? The new iPhone? So much brain honey. Delicious. Open the door. Glass door. Caution. 24 hour surveillance. I don't got this. Can't kick it open. May I may I know what this line is for, Mr. Fish? Have the fans been tapped lately? No. Oh, okay. Me? I'm in a bad spot right now. Uh you wouldn't get it. Why is that so familiar? Is that like... Is that like a secret passcode from a different video game? It feels like it is. Had the fins been damp. That's great. Cool. How are your fins? I would not get it. Please tell me. Let me understand, understand. Understand, understand. Understand, understand the concept of love. Understand, understand. Understand, understand. Understand, understand the concept, the concept of love. Shuba do ba 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 da. Shuba do ba 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 da. I am. I'm not missing anything, am I? Is this door like not openable? Go around. Hello, who are you? Where did they all go? Probably jamming. Jam, jam. Can we get a Joel in the chat? Got a Joel right here. Yeah. yeah. I wanna know your name. I wanna know your name.
when you don't know what to do, you just dance. Woo! Whoa! All right, that was not correct. Dance or break stuff. You'd think you'd be able to break the glass door. Maybe you break it with break dancing. I don't know, it's worth a shot. Yeah! yeah. See, it's 24 hour surveillance, right? So they see me dancing. They watch they watch these moves on the camera and they're like, oh, this guy's so cool. I'll open the door for him. Just get just get the camera in there. Clip through the wall. I am so confused. Does anybody does anybody have any clue what I'm supposed to be doing here? I'm lost in my own mind. But you know what else is new? I wanna know your name. I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. I have a very slight suspicion that I might have bugged the game by saying no to have the fins been damp. Like maybe it's supposed to do something after I say yes, but because I picked no first. I'd be so mad if that's what happened. I'm... I'm... Do, do, uh, objective! Do it! Do what? What am I doing? My objective is just do it. I am this close. I am this close to looking it up. It. Maybe I should just look it up. I wanna know your name. You wanna listen to Precious Thing? I'm searching for a bomb rush cyberphone. Finn's been damned. Right, right. I remember what Finn's been damp is from. From Finn's been damp is from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Either Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. One of the Zoras ask you that. Okay. But. Um. Uh, people aren't talking about being stuck at that part. Excuse me? I think my game is bugged. I think my game is bugged. Chapter 3 Dream. Bomber Cyberpunk Chapter 3 Dream. I'm watching somebody play. Is it have commentary? All right, somebody. Okay, okay, they're doing it. They're going through the dream sequence. They're walking through. What? What? That's weird. This glass wall is just totally not here for other people. This glass wall is totally non-existent. Is why? It's just open. Was this some kind of like anti-piracy thing? I bought the game. It's on Steam. Bizarre. You talk about it. Like it's clearly meant to be there, but like why doesn't it open? I'm gonna quit and reload. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Like, why would it be so impossible? Okay. 
Are these like buttons I have to press? The person, the video I watched was literally, they just ran up here and then this glass wall wasn't here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, you just dashed through it. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I don't know why you would dash would... I've, I've been punching it. <laughs> I, don't, why, I don't know why dash is so special. I also don't know why the video of the person I watched just didn't have the wall. Alright, let's just get through this. Also, Akira Dolce, well, come on in. How's it going? Hey, I found the fish behind the wall, though. People probably never seen that in the game before. Hi. Oh, you're dead, aren't you? Did you get any signals? Any intel? About what? About who shot me? I don't think I had a tech man. You were a cyber hit, right? Like me? Oh, were. You think this is the afterlife. I'm sorry, you're just a dream man, man. Just listen to the police radio frequency, easy. Sorry, I guess I'm still too human. Unlike you, look at this place, this is cool. This is epic, I love this whole water theme. Let's drown. <laughs> Good clip, good clip. Yes, finally figuring out. I'm I'm so good at games, y'all. I'm so smart. SMRT. Akira Doji, how you doing? What time is it over there? Over in Japan. Japan. I was talking with some friends earlier about like when I went to Japan, I noticed that even though most trading card games are cheaper, for some reason the Pokemon oh! The Pokemon trading card game specifically is, like, ungodly more expensive. Like, you can get a card of Miriam, the school nurse from Scarlet Violet. Her full art, alternate art card, where she's, like, tripping and f dropping all the books. That costs $35 in the U.S. In Japan, that art, that card goes for... 30,000 yen. It goes for like 200 something dollars. I'm like, what's what's with the big discrepancy? Like, are, are the pull rates for cards just so much more ass in the Pokemon trading card game in Japan? Easy. Oh, we got fish grinding. I don't know what this is. The foe subconscious is trying to say about about his mind, but there's a lot of fish involved. Pokemon stuff is expensive. It's only 2 p.m. over there. Nice. It's Thursday over there, huh? Can I just, like, ride into the water here? No. It's solid. A plush can roll up to 60 USD. Oh, boy. Yeah! Now, shoes. I bet they had a lot of fun designing these dream sequences. Look at that. It's all pure platforming, baby. It's fishy in here. Must have been dreaming about the seafood city. That's a visceral scream. No! Hat in time vibes. Dreaming of sushi? I'm dreaming of sushi. I'm hungry. Hey, Akira, have you, any, have you had any good sushi lately? Probably. Sushi everywhere is good over there. Like, it doesn't even matter. You can go to any hole in the wall. It'll be fantastic. 
finally I've made it to the Halo Beach. It really does feel like a Halo 2 level, doesn't it? Da -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. The snakes on the building are pretty menacing, but also damn badass. I know how to defeat these glass now. I've learned. Yeah. Ass, 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 ass. Come on, baby. Shake it for me. Let me see that ass, 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 ass. Please, please, please. Taco parade! Come on down to the taco parade, y'all. We got tacos for days. I don't have any boost. I don't have any boost. I used it. Uh, yeah. The monkeys on the trumpets. Probably they probably play better than me. Nice. Well, I've just gone in a circle, haven't I? You live across from a fancy sushi place. How much does it cost, dude? I bet it's super affordable. I bet it's like. 50 yen for one piece of sushi. Just a quarter each, can you imagine? I'm dying! My one weakness, bullets. That menu option said retry. Miku bought Halo, you haven't played it yet. The Master Chief Collection? It do be a fun game. I really love Halo just for the story, that's... For some people that might be weird, but like it really was one of the first first person shooters to like get both the multiplayer and the single player right on console. It was just it had something for everybody. Ah. Whoa. All right, maybe my objective is just kill everybody. It's a pretty common objective in video games, but you'd be surprised. I'll just dance while I heal. Break dance to avoid breaking my bones. Good trade-off. Yeah! No, 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 no! Yeah. Used to play Halo with your ex years ago, hadn't gotten around to playing it. Ah. I wasn't upset by the direction that Halo Infinite went with the story. I realized with the just development hell that game went through, I don't think we would have gotten any game that could have lived up to like the rest of the Halo series as a whole. But it was still pretty good. Like it still respected the rest of the Halo games. And that's all I could have asked for. Just that's a shame that the uh, multiplayer didn't quite live up to people's expectations. It was fun and then people just got bored of it. They had this whole roadmap, and then they were like, you know what? This isn't making money. We're just not gonna do it. We're just not gonna do our plan on our roadmap. When the times come that developers can just not do what they promised and planned. Gaming, gaming just is just in a sad place. But we got indie games like Bomb Rush Cyberfunk to bring hope back to the world. Hey, look. Yo, who are you? I saw you in my dream. I told you. Just keep the ladder steady. I can't. I'm up here with you. There's Fo. That guy down there. I'm sure he can do it. It's me. Oh! He's back! Uh, 
you think they'd be concerned that this happens every single time we take down <laughs> we take down a group mm -hmm. these blackouts are not normal even for a new cyberhead now you show some 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 empathy for me dj cyber did something to him in that chair i'm sure it all started with that mm -mm. we don't have time to figure this out right now uh-oh we gotta book it even if we're not responsible they'll think they'll think we did it Move out. increase the perimeter and don't let anyone leave this mall uh oh <sighs> I wonder if that guy has something to do with this. I knew he was bad news on the night he tried to escape. What, me? And this is why we need to book it. Oh, oh, I'm grooving. Oh, I'm, I'm bumping. Oh, can we get some dancing in the chat? We get some Manoka, please. Madam, we have several injured officers. No casualties. I mean, injury is literally a casualty. That's that's what it means. It doesn't mean death. I see. Make sure everyone is taken care of. First time I've had suspects break out of custody like this. What is the status of the three suspects? DJ Cyber and the uh, one other detainee have escaped. And the third suspect will take a look. Oh. Wait, the police have my head? And why are we chasing after DJ Cyber? I ring. This is the future. This kid's mind knows exactly how these street gangs operate. They're using Foe's head as the AI? As Algo? Huh? Sir, with all due respect, it's too risky. We don't know what else is on his mind. I love this city. It's why I became Chief Inspector. The vandals, every slur they write. I ain't writing slurs, I'm just painting naked ladies. Every window they break. Well, I do, I, I have been breaking windows. <laughs> People see that and it tells them you can do whatever you want in this city. I will keep an eye on this subject personally. Inform the other lieutenants about Project Algo tomorrow. Yes, sir! Oh, the mystery deepens. Just what can you do with a head? Guess I wasn't using that head for anything special. Maybe it's better that they have it. Ain't no brain cells in there anyway. I'm sorry, you can't just you can't just meet us at our hideout. This is a secret. This is a secret, totally public part of the city. Hey, figured I should make myself comfortable. Oh, hey, there you are. Thanks for your help earlier. Yo, nah. And why are you on our couch, if I may ask? Hmm. Since I'll be joining your crew from now on, yo, new playable character. Yeah. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Now, listen here. Maybe you did help us out in Millennium Mall. But don't start thinking you can just... These blackouts and dreams Dread keeps having. I can tell you what causes them. <laughs> Gun! Hmm. They're memories. Memories coming back to you by doing graffiti and conquering the burrows. Uh, there's gun. Can, can somebody do something about gun? With every burrow you take, you become more capable. Soon you'll be strong enough to face DJ Cyber. Memories are who? A foe? No. These memories don't belong to foe. Of what? My old head? My, my new head? They belong to someone else. Someone who... Uh oh Hi. Sir. Sir. I don't think this is how you use a sniper. <laughs> it's a long range weapon. Just to... we meet again, redhead. Gotcha. Memento Mori. The <laughs> 
You couldn't have done that before I got shot? Does it even matter? I'm just... I backed up my memories, right? I'll remember to back up com your computer, everybody. <laughs> Raid! It's that sniper from before, yeah, you think? Um, How did he find us? Uh, Bell? Eh? Uh... <gasps> I am too human. What did you find inside? What? Where did you get this head? That's... That's the per- That's the person whose memories I'm coming back! What? Hmm. Well, now we just got shot. Promise me one thing. Don't tell anyone about this. Huh? Forget that! My boy's messed up! We have to get him to a doctor! Um... I'm sorry, they just put an organic head back on my body. This is even <laughs> less believable than the robot head. A doctor? Do I have insurance? <gasps> the Flesh Prince! Oh, right, I forgot that was an actual character. I'm like, what? A Bel Air? <laughs> I am like, whoa, the Frankenstein thing. We have to find him. Okay. Cool. I'm recovering. You, all, you doing all right, Red? <laughs> Don't worry, Red, we'll get help. Can we just, like, put another head on? Please? Eat the bat bat, eat the bat bat bat. I'm part of the crew now, so let me help. Shall I have the first of hell to get the Fresh Prince? Yeah. Good. Oh, hell yeah. What's up? Red needs help. He needs a doctor. What's up? The Fresh Prince is still in Versum Hill. We ain't got time to dawdle. Vibrations. Oh, that's a fancy one. Reminds me of a shiny Pokemon card. All right, we got no time to lose. I'm bleeding out, man. I've had an organic head in there the whole time. Flesh Prince, where did you get that head? My first thought is like, because I thought Trice was the one who did it, but no, it was the Flesh Prince. So what, you're out here putting just organic heads on people's bodies? Didn't that belong to somebody else? Yo. Hey, here to switch the inline skates or to change the style of your skates. All right, let's do that. The Flesh Prince of All City. The Fresh Prince of Bell. Skateboard. You found Terrence. You can go to the center of the garage in the hideout to switch your ride. Yo, we got video games. Hold on. Red can wait. We got the Sony Dream Station over here. Hit the light switch if you want a light switch. Hit the light switch if you want a light switch. Yeah, you know what? This is definitely the music to use for your, your home base. If I wasn't dying, I'd be a lot more chill to just hang out in here. Stack symbols. No, we have to keep using the naked lady. It's it's art. It's art, you know? Kick it. Here it is. Here's the inline skates. Let's do it. Morning glow. Whoa. Switch to inline? Hell yeah, I do. Pop 3.0. <clears throat> It's cool that, like, everybody gets every sport. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. That's the theme of this entire gosh dang game, ain't it? Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even do that graffiti on purpose. It works. All right, we going to Versum Hill. That was that way. Let's go! Alright, y'all. You think I'll make it in time? Also, what did we do with Escher? How? Oh. 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 
Got the moves, got them vibes. We got the strategy. Oh, hell yeah. All right, it probably shouldn't take too long to find the Flesh Prince, right? Trice. Check out the basketball court. Maybe the prince hasn't cleared out yet. That is where we saw him last time. This way, right? Distant Hollow, what's up? This game is such a vibe. Got the moves, got the vibes, we got the strategy. Doggy! Ooh, 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 does she have alternate colors already? I did unlock an alternate costume for somebody. Oh, not her. Yo, with the hair though. Wait. Wait. Do I just have like the Ronald McDonald look going on? Wait, hold on. I like the palette, but then also like... It's just a little, just a little clownish, isn't it? Just, just a little bit clown-like. Chicken needs a yellow jacket, then you match. Yo, can I get a Big Mac? It's just a little, just a little Ronald McDonald's. Yo, so the old head's blocking this area. What's up? You little youngins, you don't even understand what Amsterdam is all about. Get some rep and you might understand the streets a little more. Fine, we're rep locked, it looks like. Hiya! I wonder if at some point in the game you unlock, like, Franks and Eclipse and all the crews as playable characters. Probably. I still haven't really figured out how to tag that. It's just too high. One out of four. Two out of four. Three out of four. Where's the last one though? No, I lost the combo right before I lost. The, I found the last one. Fine. Shoot. No, no, it's easier coming from the top. I'm getting this one. I'm getting this. This. What, what do I call these high five lads? A calm, slappy McChop Chop. It's like he's wearing those giant foam hands from from sports games. Clean. We got the moves, we got the rhymes, we got the strategy. I lost combo, when did that happen? I'm doing that thing again where I'm pressing LB instead of LT for the boost. That's what's happening. I'm trying to like keep the manual going. Can I get a three double f number fives, number nine, number nine extra large? Whoa, okay. I was gonna say, is that the music going like bah, 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 bah. Something was making that sound. Alright, where is that post office whatever I just opened? Yo, there's a place to tag. Tasteful. Oh, hell yeah. It was probably a top. You know, for some reason, just I, I haven't been able to stop thinking about burgers for a long while now. I don't know why. 
But uh, when I was doing grocery shopping for the first time in a while, since, you know, kind of been sick, I didn't want to spread any sickness around. Yesterday was the first chance I had to get groceries in a while. Uh, I thought, heck it. I went down to the freezer aisle. I got those White Castle burgers. that are just like frozen. I've never been to an actual White Castle. There's not really one in California. But like, just a place where you can get tiny burgers and get as many as you want. I will, that is dangerous. I would order so many if there was a White Castle around here. I know there's one in Las Vegas. I don't think I'll go eat there when I go to TwitchCon, but I very well might. Wicked, wicked, wah, the bat, the bat, wah, the bat. Uh, where do I go to get to the basketball court? That's where I need to actually be. What is chicken's favorite form of extreme sport? Skateboard, BMX, roller skates, or something else? I played so much Tony Hawk as a kid, I have to say skateboarding. Even though I've never, like, really done it myself. I tried. I tried as a kid. Like, my, my friend had a skateboard. I tried it out. And I found out that I'm goofy stanced, just like Tony Hawk. So there's that. I don't know, there's just something about the feeling of being it, just uncontrollably moving forward that just does not work with my brain. Maybe for the best. Who knows how many injuries I would have sustained if I ever actually took it up. I'm fine with uh, Skate and Tony Hawk and now Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, thank you. Alright, it's the court, but uh, the Flesh Prince of Bel-Air ain't here. Couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble around the neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and your uncle in Bel-Air. Hello? Shortcut? Yo. Didn't know that. Damn it. I should not have done that. Now I have to go all the way back. I got music though. Yo, we got get enough. Hell yeah. This was worth it. Never mind. It was worth it. Just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Hideki Naganuma never lost it. Not for a second. He missed Uncle Phil. Yeah, his actor was amazing. May he rest in peace. The father figure that Will Smith, the character, needed. William Smith. You know that you, when actors do that sitcom thing where they their character is named their normal name? Well, you know, Will Smith's real name is just Will Smith. It's not William Smith. It's only in the TV show that his name is William Smith. Miku spilled a bunch of heavy whipping cream on the floor. No, you whipped the floor! Well, at least the cats can lick it up. No, apparently milk is actually not good for cats. I'm sure you know that, but... Like, just like humans, they become lactose intolerant after a certain age. Ice skating is fun. I definitely do not live in a place that can do ice skating. It definitely does not snow in Los Angeles. There are places you can go to ice skate, but it's like all artificial and expensive. Six. I can do six. Just can't get enough. Send a picket of spilled milk. Don't cry over it. There's no use crying over spilled milk. Grinding on the power lines. I'm sure this is safe. Oh! That's what? Yeah, baby! Hideki has so much range you didn't appreciate when you were younger. 
Something about it just encompasses this era, though. The era of the mid-2000s. It's always like a little bit of a puzzle to find out what their prize is in these rooms. Operator! There you go. I know for a fact that Precious Thing is in Versum Hill, the CD for it. Because in the YouTube video, people are like, where do you get the CD for this? So once I get that, you know we're just listening to ass, ass, ass. Alright, I have no idea where Flesh Prince is. Could be a problem. Find the Flesh Prince. He might actually be here. Maybe I didn't notice him. There's a Frank. Yo. Hey, you one of those bombers crew, aren't you? Look, I ain't got time for graffiti wars right now. We're looking for the Flesh Prince. He around here somewhere? The boss? Don't know about him. You don't know where your boss is? The rest of the Frank cleared off the Millennium Square. Now scram, you're scaring away the customers. I like how they just have bolts all over their body. And the Millennium Square. Maybe that's what's in my shoes. Millennium Square, man. Even just like the Jet Set Radio Future soundtrack as a whole, like I didn't appreciate it as much as a kid. I always liked the just straight up Jet Set Radio soundtrack a little bit better. But again, it just grows on you. Especially that song about the woman baking a cake for, for, for her. Yes, I'm cooking for my son and his wife. Today is his 30th birthday. Shut up and eat. Too bad no bon appetit. Shut up and eat. You know my love is sweet. <laughs> that is not the first time I sang that song this stream. I only found out today what the lyrics are because it's... The singer, she peaks the mic so much. I, it just sounds like, it just sounds like microphone noise. And that's if you want to switch back to skateboard. What's fun is that um, the person who sang that song in Just Set Radio Future was actually the uh, original voice actress for Noodle from Gorillaz. You know, the same the same girl that was sang in 19-2000. Get the cool. Get the cool shine. I think that's the right one. Get the cool. Get the cool shoe shine. There's a monkey in the jungle watching the paper trail. Caught up in the conflict between his brain and his tail. And if time's elimination, then you've got nothing to lose. Please repeat the message. It's the music that we choose. Get the cool. Get the cool shoe shine. As far as extreme sports, we got a lot of go karting and racing ATVs to the woods. We got hit with so many low hanging branches. I would never. I would never be allowed to, and like. With my strict parents and my strict lifestyle. I was just like a schoolboy and that was it. I missed out on so much life. And here I am just playing video games on the internet. Continuing to miss out on life. It's okay, I'll go to Disneyland later. <laughs> well, come on in. I don't know who rated. Give me one second, then I'll get to you right quick. I just need to figure out what my objective is right now. Um, I just have to look. It's on the map. What's going on, Common Rider and Origination? We got a double raid, double feature. How's it going, y'all? We got some Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. 
You know, I'm playing as uh, Ronald McDonald right now. But, you know, in a good way. In a good way. Just like uh, the, that, that one lady from uh, Catherine, but only like the original Catherine and not Catherine full body. How's it going on? What's going on? Raiders, welcome on in from both Ori and Common. Y'all know me. You know who I am. You know what I'm all about. I don't need to introduce myself, but hope y'all are having a great time. We got moves. We got vibes. We got the strategy. I need to build up my combo. I'm. What's going on? Hello? Look here, mister. I will ask you one more time. Yo, is that a Frank? Please show me your taxi driver license. Taxi driver? Who are you? <laughs> Who the heck is this guy? Look at his glasses. I told you. I'm not a taxi driver. I'm a private chauffeur for VIP. Then how come it's just a taxi? It's crazy taxi! Hey, hey, let's get some fun! <laughs> How come you got this sign on your car that reads taxi? Tell me. I kind of want to give him the crazy taxi voice now. Oh, that. That is just for style, you know. I'm afraid we're taking you down to the bureau. Look, I'm sure this guy runs a perfectly legitimate business. We will see how you sound at the. We will see how you sound about pro after processing. All right, well, we're getting involved in this right now, I guess. Fur. This game's got combos. I'm just dancing. <laughs> Yo, I was mentioning this at the beginning of stream, but for everybody who just came on in, the director for this game, uh, Dion Coster, actually did all the motion capture because he's a break dancer in real life. Check it out. Check. That, that's not the right button. Check it out. He's got his he's got his Instagram and everything. Like look at that. One to one. Everything is mo cat. I would have thought like they touch up the animations or exaggerate them to fit the like cartoony style. No, he can just do that. So cool. So cool. Team Reptile knows what they're doing. They were like they are the worthy successors to Sega to be making this game for sure. One of those street gang punks! Alright, we're getting involved, I guess. He level four? Hold on, we have to disable a bunch of them once. Die, die, die! They got the moves, they got the spies, we got the strategy. They styling on us. We're styling on them. This is my character right now. How y'all doing? Hope y'all streams were good. Ori, you were playing Pikmin today, right? I was catching origination at the beginning of a stream. He was watching his old clips back. I need to like do that on stream more. I'm just like embarrassed by my old clips though. I played so many games. Die, don't die. Pikmin fun, hell yeah. Whoa, thank you, Chief. Man, I was sweating bullets back there. Nice Check shoes. Oh, that's not his voice. I wish though. My name is Benny. I'm a taxi driver. <laughs> Say, Chief, let me repay the favor. Fast travel? Ah, I was wondering about these taxi stops. When you see yourself a taxi sign, I can pick you up. Yo, we got personal Uber. Just get down and bust a move so I can spot you. See you later, fam. Gotta go now. People are waiting for me. Remember, just get down with down at the taxi sign. Get down. That's clever. We driving. Enigmatic shark, watch out. That chicken isn't tall enough to drive. Ha. Yep. Check this out. We have to hit all of these in one combo. Damn it, I messed up. Uh, but the only way to combo on the ground is with like uh, a slide. And the only way to continue your slide is with boost. Damn it. I need to build up more combo. Because my boost meter is so empty right now. Ha! There you go. Alright, that might do it. So you're saying you need to use the boost to get through! <laughs> I knew exactly what you were saying. Shark, I've been training you well. It's not like I've been using Star Fox 64 quotes every time I see you in a screen to just mentally condition you. Or anything. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. 
Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Move it. Last one? Yeah. And every time we open one of these, we open this little post office and apparently we get a little reward. Sometimes it's music, sometimes we get a costume. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Do a barrel roll! Please tell me. Ah, oh, that's not ass. That's not ass at all. What song is this? Look at it, I got a little flip phone and my character looks at it when they move around. We're playing Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. It's the new successor to Jet Set Radio. I'll tell you, it is worth it. All the music is copyright free, so you are free to stream it. But then we also got like tracks from Hideki Naganuma himself, the composer for Jet Set Radio. I don't like it. I don't like it. What up, G? What? That one's okay. Also, is that artist name just Scalp? I like Anime Break. That's a good one. It's got like anime sound effects in it. Operator? Operator's pretty good. Alright, you know we gotta have it. Hideki Naganuma. Just can't get it enough. Let's go! Just can't get enough. Yeah, baby. Wonderful. Oh, I haven't done that one yet. All right. I'm focused on them. I'm doing a couple of side things right now because the game is at a point where. We can't continue the main plot because the main character is in a, a little bit of a predicament. Just a little bit. So, uh... We're just, uh... We're trying to find somebody from earlier in the game who can help. I don't know where we'd find him. I'm just kind of going around doing tricks until then. <laughs> That's some Castlevania Donosaur witchcraft mechanics with the graffiti. Right? It's like we're writing on a... It's like we're doing, uh... Glyphs on a DS game. Every graffiti in this game, it's really cool. It's not like Jet Set Radio where you like... Oh wow, I just noticed it. The phone has the real time. It is 10.55 right now. Uh, each one of these graffitis has like a pattern that you use. So for example, this one is like up and then left. So it's not like Jet Set Radio where you only have three graffitis. You can use any graffiti you unlocked. Uh, I'm gonna make a naked lady. Yeah! I don't know why I really like that one for some reason. Not just because it's a naked lady, it's just it's really stylish though. She's in a bowl of like miso soup or something. Just can't get it. The doctor game with the hell match. I was just talking about Trauma Center earlier today. I was I was talking about how Wii games are getting expensive now. Because collectors are just realizing, oh snap, the Wii is old. Red industry. The Wii is old. Like, stock is dwindling. It is hard to find these games now. Price go up. We stand the stylish naked ladies. You know, it's art. Art. Uh, I want to do this one. It, it looks complicated. Oh, good. But really, like, as long as you start a pattern, you can just, like, spin the gr You can spin the stick in a circle, and you just eventually make it. I, I don't have any of these memorized. I just, like, do them. I just pick a random direction. I'm like, that's cool. I have the Naked Lady one memorized, though. For no reason. Yo, there's a Frank over here. Let's find him. Yo, we, that's our objective. We need to find the Franks. They're a bunch of... They're a rival gang made up of, of Frankenstein people. Yo, stop comboing, man. I need to talk to you. Stop, stop, stop. Am I being detained? Apparently I am. There, caught him. Hmm? What? We need the Flesh Prince. Know where he is? You're from that crew. Bomb Rush, right? I ain't forgot. I don't care what the old heads think. You ain't no G. 
I feel bad for you to be honest. So listen to this. What's that dub, Ralph? You show me you know how to act like a G, then I'll treat you like a G. Bomb the heaven above here and I'll tell you what you want to know. Get up there, that ain't too hard. I don't think so. The Flesh Prince of Bel Air, yep, absolutely. Only Will Smith can help us out of this predicament. He'll slap some sense into these cops. <laughs> Please. In the absence of Will Smith, I'll just have to do it myself. William Smithington, yes. Maybe I can lose the heat by going in here. No, no, I still got heat. I can dance though. Wicked wild, wicked, wicked wild, wild west. Wild, wild west. You know the first ever Will Smith movie I ever watched was Wild Wild West. Yeah, it wasn't exactly his best work. He was pretty good in it, but you know, it's just, it's just not the first movie you think of when you think of Will Smith, is it? You know, at least, you know, like, Men in Black, or like, Watch the Fresh Prince, or Bel Air, or Independence Day. But no, I watched Wild Wild West, of all things. I still have the DVD. It was before DVDs were all that common, so it's like they were in those little paper cases. That's Piranha. You think uh, MIB was your first actual Will Smith movie? That's a good one. That's a good one. I rewatched it like a couple years ago, and I'm like, yeah, this movie is still great. Bad Boys. I've never watched Bad Boys, actually. You know what I do have, though? I have... I have the video game for Bad Boys 2. Painted Naked Lady on the turret. Yeah, it, it killed the turret, but now I have even more heat. Shoot. I need to find a bathroom. Only a bathroom can, re can relieve me of this heat. That is a mechanic in this game. Sometimes you just gotta... Sometimes you just gotta... You just gotta relieve. The only reason I have the video game for Bad Boys 2 is because I was buying other PS2 video games and the cheapest way to do so was uh, a listing for a, for this lot for a lot of PS2 games and Bad Boys 2 was part of it. But it's useful. It's useful because now I have just like a spare PS2 case and a copy of Bad Boys 2, I guess. The game, not the movie. First movie you saw with him was Coming to America, not one of his leading role movies. Just think, like, there are people these days whose first Will Smith movie is Suicide Squad. How about that? What was that movie where he, like, has to fight a clone of himself? And they, like, CGI the, the, the younger actor to... With like deep fake of young Will Smith. I always wanted to watch that just because it just fascinates me the technology for like making actors look like younger actors. I, I think it's overused in a lot of cases, but it is novel. It's like some movies do it good, some movies do it bad. Can do worse as a first Will Smith movie than Suicide Squad. All right, all right, y'all. I want your hot takes. What is the worst Will Smith movie? I don't watch many movies, so I, I don't know if I'm qualified to answer. I know the worst one I've seen with Will Smith is Wild West, but I think that's a decent movie still. 
I enjoyed it when I was a kid. I don't know. I don't know about these days. Gemini Man, that's the one. With the uh, with the younger Will Smith. Got it. All right, let's release some heat. Go back to this spring mode. I am no longer Ronald McDonald. Sweet. Uh -huh. I think I can make the combo. I know I need to be like going up, but uh, I want a combo. Damn it! I thought I would land on the rail. Do I bother? No. Let's let's continue the objective. Look, Osaka Running Man, but in New Amsterdam. Oh, Common, have you seen me play this yet? This game takes place in New Amsterdam, also known as New York. They're not gonna call it New York, they're gonna call it New Amsterdam. That's funny to me. Your child's first Will Smith movie was Bad Boys for Life. New Hamster? Damn. Yeah, son, your old hamster went to live on a farm. I think it was Dilly, Dilly Go Gruff, who was telling this story on his stream. And you know, I, 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 I'm not, not to steal his story or anything, but you know how when, like, you're a kid and your, your family pet dies, your parents go like, oh yeah, he just went to live on a farm. I don't know why, I don't know why his parents are Irish, but you know, maybe they are. Oh, you know, they're just living a long life out on the farm. They're not dead, not at all. Apparently, when Dilly was a kid, he had a dog. He had a dog that was pretty old already. And apparently one day he just woke up to his dog being gone and his mom telling him like, oh yeah, these nice people who are helping us like fix our deck or something they they said they wanted a dog so we just gave them our dog they went out and they and the dog is out living on this farm and he's really happy and dilly just didn't question it it's like oh cool i guess our, my dog lives on a farm now and here's the thing that was true <laughs> that was absolutely true because later on in his life he he like told that story to co-workers and they're like, oh, you innocent, innocent young man. Like your, your dog died. Like your mom just told you that. So he goes and calls his mom and she says like, no, yeah, we actually did just give away our dog. Like our dog did not die. We just gave it away just one day out of nowhere. To a farm. <laughs> It's a, it's a little weird. Like, family dog, you, you form memories and bonds with your child. You're like, yeah, we just gave it away. Whoa, I'm so fast. Help, 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 help. No, help. Jeez. Okay, I need to figure out how to get up there, because that's the only thing that'll progress the story for me. Let's try it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Uh, hmm. Maybe zoom up this way? The last Dilly story you heard was how he axed himself in his foot. Yeah, and how he has like a wooden plaque made out of that axe handle. <laughs> oh, this is, this is, oh, 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 that's skill. That is skill. You need skill to make it up here. Wah! Shoot. Sit. Your family gave your Jack Russell Terrier to a farmer. Did they at least get your permission first? Sit. Clean. Sit. Sick. What is this? An actual bomb. Let's use it. Oh, it's a medium. I did it. What up, G? What? You miss your Jack? Oh. Yeah, she did. Oh, hello. 
Sorry for the titty jump scare, everybody. But not really sorry. Your mom got the dog for safety even though she was allergic. One day you drove to a farm and gave your dog away. I never had a mammal pet as a kid. I, I would always tell my parents I want one, but then they're like, no, you're allergic. I'm like, how do you know if I've never if I've never interacted with with said type of animal before? They're like, we just we, you're just allergic. We can't have one. Later I d later in life I asked them about it and I'm like, how did you know I was allergic? And they're like, you're not allergic. Cool. Cool, so they don't even remember they gaslit me. They don't even remember they gaslit me in order to not get me a pet. But you know, I got a fish when I was a kid, so that was cool. We kept it in a fish bowl that looked like a globe. It had like the countries on it and everything. Boom, a jump scare! No! Alright, I have to make my way back up again. Let's see. You haven't forgiven your mom for making you take one of your dogs to be- Oh, what? To be put down, she can bring herself to do it. But like, you gonna traumatize your child like that? Oh, uh, it must have been, it must have been an emergency if it like had to happen at that moment though. I'm sorry for that. That's terrible. Scap Looney! I'm a Scap fan! Skibbity bidi bum ba da boop. Ba ba da boop. We're talking about childhood pets. And uh, all the good and bad memories that entail. How's it going? Welcome on in. Yo, it is Wednesday though, isn't it? Scap, weren't you doing a music stream today? Was it good? Yeah, you know, new Jet Set Radio style game. There's a lot of music to be had, isn't it? You should totally play this game, Scap. It is really good. The music is funky. Like, check it out. We got new tracks from the composer from Jet Set Radio. Pretty good. You miss, you miss. Uh, yeah. Well, hope the stream was pretty good. Well, come on in, everybody. If you don't know me, I'm Chris. I usually play Nintendo games. Today, I'm playing a game inspired by Sega games. Inspired by Jet Set Radio. Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. It is a worthy successor. It is super fun. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just, like, at a point in the story where... I should be doing something, but I'm like too busy just having fun skating around. That's all right. That's okay. We're just kind of killing time over here. Can I lose? I am. I'm like level four on heat. Freaking stop! Maybe I can lose them in the mall. <laughs> <clears throat> What's going on? Miku was killing fish. That one sounded toe jammy. Maybe. All this music is made by independent artists and Hideki Naganuma acting as an independent artist. Oh, no, I did not lose heat. But maybe there's a bathroom in here. You relieve heat by going to the bathroom, which is, you know, just the usual. It's just life. Just like real life, I'm hopping into the mall for the sole reason of trying to find a bathroom. Not actually going to the mall, just like trying to find relief. Stop, please, please, please. Ah! Desist! I'm gonna pay the naked lady on you. You can't use outside bathrooms. Sometimes it is just, sometimes there's no other option, but you know, if possible. I just like being at home, you know? We got moves, we got vibes, we got the strategy. Does the map show you where the bathrooms are? They do not. I feel like I'm just wasting time in here, but that's fine. When you gotta go, you gotta go. The outside itself though, no problems there. Uh. So you're saying, just you just go out to the woods with a roll of toilet paper and you'll be just A-okay. Just like a bear. All natural. Public restaurants are nasty. They are, though. When I'm in a restaurant that... What, what's going on? Why can't I move? Why can't I move? What's happening? Okay. That was weird. Uh, 
Uh, anyway, uh, let's get out of here, because this isn't working. Uh, look at her hair just jiggling. Victoria's Secret, welcome on in. How we doing? We doing fine. We're just vibing. Playing some Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. I have an objective in this game, but the police are making it difficult. Just like real life. I need to get to the highest point of the city in order to tag the billboard up there. I'll tag this robot instead. Nice. And we're also like telling, we're sharing stories about childhood pets. Mine's not very interesting because I just had a fish. And you know, one day my my grandma like came back from the from the swap meet with another fish, and I'm like, I only wanted one though. Also, I don't think our fish bowl is big enough for like three fish. She kept buying more, and I'm like, this is nice and all, but I this isn't this is this is they cannot survive like this. And the fish did not survive because they were over credit for space, which is really sad. Lily was your cat as a teen. Still around for your first real treatment? Oh, I'm glad they were able to experience that. Little Lily. When a restaurant has like a decent public restroom, I'm like, I will remember this place. I will remember this place for later. Just in case. This is like the third time I've climbed this billboard tower, but it's not the billboard tower I need to be at. Sorry for the boob jump scare. Uh, where is it? I'm just trying to find like there. I think it's over there. How do I get there? Uh, the police making objectives difficult. Suddenly, boob. My real objective, paint naked ladies on all the turrets. I mean, yes, that's the secondary objective, to be sure. I can't make it! Like, it's there, it's that. That's where I need to get up on. Rules of nature! Can't won't run on that. This is difficult, y'all. Can I find yeah. another restroom somewhere? <laughs> Just paint him. The booze where the camera's supposed to stay. Okay, you know what? I may be painting. I may be painting boobs on everything. But you know that's because that's part of the art. Vinyl over here is just trying to exist, y'all. No rest, only room. They call it a restroom, but I'm fighting for my life in here, man! Like, dude, this ain't jinkies at all! Yo, this is a shirt. Hold on. Get it, get it, get it. What was that? That was for... I did not see who that was for. We got moves, we got vibes, we got the strategy. Bathroom! When she says she jinkies, but she only zoinks. Zoinks! When she Ronalds, but she also McDonalds. Commons, family, friends, restaurant that you go to a lot. Is that the restaurant that gives you a lot of like free food? Uh, the boss knows your problem. You get to use the private manager bathroom? Yo, that's cool. You got the hookups, man. You know, one time I went to a hometown buffet to use the bathroom. That's the story. I never again. I don't even need to elucidate on that. There, there, you do not require any more detail. Just never again. The last time I ever set foot in that hometown buffet, <laughs> it was that bad. Okay, it looks like there's a path up through there. I just need to find a way up onto this roof. Huh. 
But how though? Yo, dog, chill. Uh, maybe I can jump up these? Yo, okay. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Pigeons, they're pooping. Yo, we got new skates. Ice cold killers. Y'all ain't ever had to use truck stop restrooms? Oh, I have had. Oh, I have had. Let me not truck stop, but just like random gas station in the middle of nowhere. This is like the last time I was driving back from NorCal. And you know, it's just like a five hour stretch of desert on the 10. So what would basically happen? Is that a cat? Yo, there's a cat. Can we pet the cat? Sorry. I can dance with the cat. Kick it. Don't kick the cat. I'm, I'm very close to kicking the cat, but we're just showing it. We're, ju we're just we're just teaching the cat our moves. Maybe after a while, the cat will start dancing too. Good kitty. Uh, there was just this random gas station that had a bathroom that it was. They had two bathrooms, but one was non-functional, so they just had like the ladies' room marked as like everybody's bathroom and I had to get in line behind um, at the same time at the same time that I got out of the car to go to the bathroom a bus full of Buddhist monks pulled up who all had a vow of silence apparently because you know they didn't say anything but uh, they all got in line for the bathroom and I just had to like silently wait in line behind them like, I asked, like, is, is, is this the line for the bathroom? And they're just, like, nodding yes. So that was an experience. That Damn. happened. Oh, be damned. You hit that spot like a true G. <laughs> I got G spot. Why is there a line coming on my back? Don't get me wrong. I still think your crew is weak. Blend in with the monks. Become one with them. Take me back to their temple. I'll keep to my word, though. A bunch of us Franks moved on to the Brink Terminal after you took Versum Hill. Maybe the Flesh Prince is there with him. This is just, like, classic 2000s backtracking. They're padding out the game by making me backtrack to everywhere. Freaking Red is bleeding out as we speak. He got shot in the head with a sniper at point blank range. Sorry, spoilers for this game. Uh... All right, how are we doing on time? Three hours. Um, yeah, let's just go to Brink Terminal and do one more thing. Just one more thing. I'm sure we'll continue to go on a wild goose chase even after this. I need to go right behind me. Oh, wait, I can do fast travel now. Let's see. Where's that taxi stop? I'm assuming it's around here somewhere since this is where I met the taxi guy. Oh, yo, I know how to get through these now. Good kitty. Meow. Yo, whoa, that's cool. Show good. It's just down, up, make it backwards four. Oh, man, it's going to replace Naked Lady, though. Shoo-ba, ba doo boo ba Shoo-ba, ba doo bee ba ba boo ba Should I be drinking trash pods? That's where all the flavor comes from. Yo, there's like a meme apple juice drink on TikTok right now, apparently. Where it's like a $20 bottle of juice. And the only reason it's trending is like, if you bite into the plastic bottle, it sounds like you're biting into an apple. I'm just like, you could buy a real apple for, you know, a lot less dollars than that. And it would also have juice inside. I think that's a little more cost effective. And it also sounds like an apple when you bite it. What's the downside? It's TikTok though. Small brain. Sounds about right. Am I in Brick Terminal? Yeah, I'm in Brick Terminal. Yeah. You can grind upside down in this game, by the way. 
<laughs> Just saw this new piece by the Franks. It was high up near the bus stations at Brick Central. See if there's a Hank still. <coughs> wow, that's a weird text. It has coughing in it. <coughs> Excuse me. SD card, baby. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's the new piece. It's up there. But um bum. But um bum. Get um bum. Shark was coming back from Philly. There's no way you could fit that hearse and anything else but the truck stop. A hearse? Oh. I see the path. I need the grind upside down. You know, grinding upside down. Haven't done that trick since my college days. Mm -hmm. Yo, there's a Frank. I see him. Die! I, uh, wasn't looking to claim this place. Just, you know, freshing it up. We ain't got time for that. We're looking for the Flesh Prince. I can tell you where you can find the Flesh Prince. He's in Matan, all right. So get off my back. Matan? That's new. Mataan. Cool. You don't mind if I retag your place, though, though. Right? Let's go down. Left. Oh, yeah, baby. I haven't done that one today yet. Let's heck and go. Get all the rep. Just because I cleared Eclipse out of this area, please. Are you someone I can talk to? You are someone I can talk to. Who are you? Hold on, let me tag these. With naked ladies. <laughs> That's something about Jet Set Radio in future that uh, I'm... I, that I didn't like, that I like that this game does, where the rival gangs are kind of actual characters that have their own, like, dialogue and plot importance. Like, I didn't expect to be talking to Franks this late in the game. I thought they were just, like, low-level chumps from the first part of the game. What's up? I like your style. Check this out. You and me, we can see the potential of things. Ordinary people don't even know that's a heaven spot. Jeez, that's uh, difficult to get to. What up, chump? Oh, you know, I'm just chumping. Chumping around. Blocking Magic the Gathering characters with my 1 1. Chump blocking. Alright, what, what piece do I want to put up here? Let me think. I want to do... I want to do headphones on, helmet on. Yeah! Sick! You did it! Man, drop by the Planet Plaza sometime. I'll be around there. Cool. I don't know your name. Ah! Am I free to go? I'm being detained. Hold on, there's like... I got something new. Uh, it was like up, down, left. No, that wasn't it. It was like making up, uh, making backwards four. That was what it was. Let me retag it. Let me retag it. Dang. We got moves. We got rise. We got the strategy. Hello. Yo. Whoa, what is this? Is this the ball? This is new to me. We got a little puzzle. We'll do this and, uh... Yeah, we'll do this and then we'll leave it for the night. Because Mataan is a new area for us. I want to save that. I want to save that for a brand new stream. I think we made some good progress. Funnily enough, even though I've had more time to stream today, it's still about the same amount of progress as every other stream of this. Where I've only done one one rival gang huh. 
Load to the mainframe. Uh, Common says, You have a best friend with the same issue where he's 10 and he had to go. His uncle volunteered to clean the toilet squeaky clean. He still ended up just going home. Dang. Well, he tried. He tried. We got moves, we got vibes, we got the strategy. Ow! Oopa! Whoa! Whoa! Platforming! Kick it! Yo, they, they really have an emphasis on platforming in this game, because that. Wow. Yeah, Jet Set Radio Future compared to the first game was really more like. Remove the time limit and make it more like just a general adventure game. This game definitely takes that to its logical conclusion. Like, I'm just platforming. This is actually not that easy either. I mean, it's not bad. It's not as bad as Sonic Adventure 2. But it reminds me of it with all the grinding. Oh, the camera's being weird. Yeah. This game is making me clench, dude. What's with all the computers up here? There's not even any power plugs. Sell body pharmaceuticals. Where you sell your body for pharmaceuticals. What a trade. You don't need insurance. That's how the Franks ended up the way they are. Oop. Oh, I missed. Yes. Lean into it. Lean into it. Lean into it, baby. Where's that jetpack? Wait. Does she even have a jetpack? Where am I? Oh, that's the new one. It's like an art gallery up here. What a perfect place to tag, isn't it? Is that just like a car stuck in the snow? Is this art all AI generated? Generate this. And then I played Mahjong for five years. Sometimes it's not about the story progress, but the Yakuza side quests. You know it. How long did Drew be Mahjong for? You passed out. He played for like three hours. Like literally the length of the stream. <laughs> That's really funny to me. Drewby is our friend for anybody watching on the YouTube who doesn't know about him. Uh, I got him to play Yakuza 0 along with a bunch of other people. We had like a poll. Yakuza 7 won the poll, but then everyone was like, yeah, play 0 first. And, uh, yep, he's, he's definitely in... In the zone. He's still in Chapter 2. He's still in Chapter 2. And his last stream, he was making up for lost stream time, but he just played Mahjong. I'm sorry, did I just hear Majima say, Can you chat? Somebody posted insomnia out here. Whoa. I'm going back down. I need to get that disc I missed. Did he learn after the end of the session? Yeah, he's getting pretty good. He's calling Richie. He's calling Ron. He's calling all the boys. <laughs> Richie and Ron. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. What's going on? No! Wait, maybe if I fall in the water, I'll respawn back at the top. Yes. Whack the 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 whack. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. I cannot make it back. 
I don't think. I need to make it back to that rail that got me up here in the first place. Let's drop down here. Okay. Why is that so stressful? Hell. This is too late in the night for me to do be doing this. Ah. Ah, McPatches, what's up? What's going on? We're talking about Yakuza Zero, but also just a radio, but also our our childhood pets, but also um anything really. How you doing? How's it going? How's life? We're doing some bomb rush cyberfunk. Whoa, why is that so hard? I need to get that disc, dude. It might have ass on it. The ass song, not like actual ass. Played zero first, trying one is kind of tough because quality of life stuff. Yeah. Surely you mean Kiwami and not, uh, not literal Yakuza 1 on PS2, right? <laughs> It's just the consequence of a game that's a game series that's existed for so long. The quality of life just naturally is so much, so much higher. A lot of times, that's why I tell people to start playing uh, Persona with Persona 3 first instead of 4 or 5. While 5 has the most quality of life, you will make it harder on yourself to go back to 3 if you are used to 5. I digress though. How's it going? Ass, 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 ass. There's a song in this game that just goes ass, 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 ass. No, 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 no. It's a Pokemon TM, yes it is. It's how I learned ass, ass. Haha. Oh, I see. Hold on, I have to go back. I have to use the billboards to get up. Why are there billboards in this closed area where people would not see the advertisement? Someone is wasting all their ad budget. Okay, so from here, you go this way. Oh! Clean. <laughs> Sunshine popping boob mixtape. Whoa, but it starts with precious thing anyway. Good enough for me. Ass, 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 ass. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. The mixtape that starts with ass. We'll play it out till the end of this song and we'll call for the night. Huh? <laughs> Gamble 99 lost 805 eggs. I'm sorry, Comet. Oh, I still have heat. Even after all that time. Take that. Ass, 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 ass. Shake it for me. Let me busy with it. Ass, 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 ass. Oh, there's a bathroom in here. Oh, McPatches, have you not seen this game yet? It is absolutely a solid spiritual successor to Dead Set Radio Future. Specifically Future, because it takes the whole design tenets of like... It's less arcadey, it's more like an adventure game that happens to take place in a city where you Tony Hawk pro skater it up. Seriously, this game doesn't just have skating, it also has skateboarding and biking actually. Uh, if I can find a character swap pad, I can actually switch to the character that uses the bike. But uh, right now we're just like in lane skating. The music is amazing. There's actual tracks by Hideki Naganuma. Check it out. I'm not gonna play it, but look at that. Get enough. It's like one of his best songs. Yeah, this is great. You need to get it. Do it. Support the developers, they have so much passion. 
on all the like trailers on YouTube, there's so many people like involved with the game from like voice actors and stuff, just passionately excited for this game's release. Like it's great. It's fun. It's a little bit. <laughs> the polish is a little weird in some places. Like some of the script needs a little bit of proofreading. But besides, you know, that's they're gonna pass because I believe the developers are from Europe. Yes, yes, yes. Besides that, though, everything is great. Like the dances are all mocapped by the game's director himself. Here, character change pad. Let's go. Look at that. You switch characters by dancing. Yo, we're calling everybody in. No, the ass song. Fine, we'll move. We'll, we'll switch the trice. He uses the bike. What's this song called again? <laughs> Asking for a friend. It's called Precious Thing. Ass, ass. Oh, look, everybody's dancing still. Oh, oh, we can't use the main character because he's incapacitated at the moment. Get me with it with that ass, 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 ass. Shake it, shake it, wah, wah. Shake it for me. I like how it's still called a manual instead of a wheelie. When I use the combo extender. Into corners. The combos really make me think more of Tony Hawk than anything than Jet Set Radio. Because there's like different buttons you can use to combo. Ah. There's a graffiti piece up there. I need that. I want that. You know, I said I would stop playing, but this game is too fun. I'm making use of the extra time I have today. Eh? Shoot. Right, maybe I have to come back uh, up this way. Yo, there was a tag spot? Oh, there is. Chicken c, -c, -c, -c combo That's what I order at KFC. Sweet. Sweet. I'm sorry, I'm being shot at. Ugh. Ow. Rude. Ugh. Yo, let's go. Let's make this one. Baby. There's a penguin over here. Yo. Over here in the corner. That penguin, that penguin is the icon for this game, by the way. Just on my desktop. Not on the desktop, but like in the taskbar. I, I, don't, I don't know why. It's good penguin, though. It's got a snorkel. I'm being shot. Yo, get me out of here, taxi man. Catch a ride. Oh, I have to unlock these. Yeah, get me out of here. I am being detained. Yeah, I saw you getting down. Need a place to be? Can I go to Mata'an? No. I can go to the hideout, though. Let's get out of here. Here we go. Gotta love secret mascots. Crazy taxi. There's so much Sega love in this game. You can freaking tell. See you later, fam. See you later, fam. Sweet. Get the light switch if you need a light switch. With the bat 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 bat. Wait, so can Trice use the skateboard? That's so odd. I only. I, Terrence. That just that just feels wrong. He should be he should be biking. I don't know how to switch back to bike though, so we're just stuck on we're stuck on skateboard now. The big Sega love letter. The love letter that Sega's been needing to write to themselves for a long time now. It's okay. Like it has been so long since the Xbox, since Jet Set Radio Future. 
Like, there was an interview with, I believe, the original director of Jet Set Radio Future. And he's like, we are too old to make a Jet Set Radio game. If we are going to make one, or if somebody is going to make a Jet Set Radio, it needs to be someone as young and as spunky as we used to be. And you know what? Team Reptile is those people. Team Reptile is that spunk. Team Reptile, the same people that made Lethal League. If you didn't know that, then it is it, it becomes way more clear where their love and inspiration for games come from. It is a no-brainer that they would be the ones to make it. Sega is a gambling company with video games as PR. No, Sega is a electronics company with video games as PR. Konami is the gambling company with video games as PR. <laughs> Konami, uh, Pachinko? Konami slot machines? Yu-Gi-Oh? It's all gambling. Sega, you know, they make machines like claw games that are totally not gambling. They're just a test of skill. I'm going to try to find a place where I can switch the bike. Because this is just, this just feels wrong. Yo, there's a new graffiti here. Blocky. Cool. Hit the light switch if you need a light switch. I'm surprised that there's not a cipher pad, a checkerboard anywhere around here in the home base. I guess you don't need to. Can't we just like change characters at like where? That's not what I wanted to do. Change characters where red is right now. If I can get back up there. Let's see, maybe this way. <laughs> you checking out One Piece today? Fuck Konami. Fuck Konami, what? I am definitely gonna check it out. I think Sprint wanted to have a, uh, wanted to have like a, a day for it. I'll probably watch it when he does like a little co-stream of it. Now Trice with skates, even more cursed. Ice Cold Killers. Oh, this one though, Red Industry. I'm excited for it, like, I know people are skeptical about it with all, you know, the other live-action adaptations of anime that have existed. This feels like the first one where people are... condensed milk? Where people are genuinely excited to be making it, to be participating in it. Like, like this game, just a whole bunch of passion all around. I feel like that's a good sign. Yo, we got the CD for Light Switch, now I can play it anywhere. The light switch, if you want a light switch. I have no idea where all the characters are hanging out. Shouldn't they should be around here somewhere. Oh, maybe here? That's where you switch the bike! Oh, there's a, just a skateboard just hanging out over here. Devin. Devin chat? I wish. Tag for real, welcome on in. Ooh, gum. User boosting and eat dinner soon. I, it is, it is almost midnight. I already ate dinner, I'm fine. Ooh, let's do, let's do bell with the bike. Can I not switch to bell? Can I only switch, can I only switch to, well, I can't switch? I can switch, I can switch earlier. Whatever, man. All right, we're good. As long as Kamen gets a bad meme from One Piece. Oh, here's the dance pad. Our friend is dying. Let's dance. All right, let's do belt with the bike. Yo, 
The other show gave us you don't know true power until you taste the something. Look, the fact that One Piece live action is at the very least gonna go through Arlong, that's like all you need. Like it could just end there. And maybe you never find out if Luffy becomes king of the pirates, but you know what? That is a story all of its own. Da -ba -da -ba -dum. Just can't get enough. I think the fact that the mocap was all done by one person means that every single character has the same animation skeleton. That works out. Autumn! Alright, we're back to Ronald McDonald, y'all. I like it, though. Oh, did I disconnect? Did I drop frames? F? Aw, oh, damn. I didn't know what could happen to me. Well, I don't know what I was talking about, but... Uh, we got the Ronald McDonald outfit for, for Bell. I almost said gum. I was gone for a second. I think that's a sign, y'all. As much as I want to keep grooving and schmoovin' and shaking, I think it's time to call it for the night, yo. Alright, everybody. Dead Set Radio is not this game. This game is Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. But this game is good. <laughs> Channeling my inner Druby. Oh, sure. He gets fiber internet, and then suddenly my internet gets worse. He pays less than me. I asked him how much he's paying, and I'm like, why am I getting so much worse internet for so much more price? Los Angeles, that's why. All right, everybody. That's enough bomb rush for tonight. Let's call it. I got to make sure to have the most funky music for this part. <laughs> Everybody, everybody, everybody. This game is funky. This game is fresh. My character is dying, but I'm sure that's fine. It is a super awesome successor. You should all buy it, support the devs, and maybe give Sega the idea to, to make a new official Jitsa Radio. And then we can have two cakes. And then we have two cakes. We can play so many games. Tuffymon, thanks for the raid. I am just about to end, though. But uh, thanks for coming on in. It's been a while. Hope Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. Oh, hell yeah. Hope that was great. Hope you have plenty of slimes. Plenty of slime times. And uh, thanks for understanding. Everybody, everybody. We just got finished playing some Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. And uh, it is a fantastic game with fantastic music. Fantastic music that goes... Ass, 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 ass. That's our ending song now. <laughs> yeah. Aren't they remaking Dragon Warrior Monsters 2? No, they're making a brand new one, actually. They're calling it 3, even though there's been a lot of Monsters games. But it's the third mainline game, and it stars a character from Dragon Quest 4. Which, Dragon Quest 4 is actually one of my favorite Dragon Quest games, so I'm really excited for it. Uh, Tuffy died to face 2 at the boss. Like, the final boss? Oh, jeez. You'll get them next time. I swear it. Good luck. You just need a little bit of rest. A little bit of rest. But uh, you know, you'll be just you'll be ready just in time for the next Dragon Warrior Monsters. After this many years, it's coming out. You're hopeful for it. I mean, as long as it's fun. As long as it's got big shoutouts to the rest of Dragon Quest, I'll have fun with it. Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior Monsters, Dragon Quest Monsters. It's so weird to say Dragon Quest Monsters when, you know, the West has always known it as Dragon Warrior Monsters on the Game Boy. Anyway. Let's end it, y'all. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitch to catch me live next time I stream this or any other game. And uh, links are in the chat for the social media stuff. I need to put my blue sky up there. I, com I completely forget every single time. And uh, if you're going to sleep, have a good night and stay clucky, y'all. We'll be continuing the rest of the week with Yakuza Zero, of course. But for now, for now, we'll we'll say goodbye to the funky freshness that is Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. Have a good night, stay clucky, y'all. And remember, ass, 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 ass. 